<laughs> All right, guys. Today we are playing Bang IO for the Sega Dreamcast. This game was also on the Nintendo 64. Um, this is pretty much a game where you are uh, a robot. You're two different characters. There they are, and you swap between them as you play. Uh, one has missiles. One has lasers. And uh, you go through different arenas. You blow up houses, and you collect oranges, and uh, there's a multiplier that you gotta try to. There's a you you have a scatter bomb basically. I'll show you. I'll show you as we go. I'm getting too far ahead of myself here. Here we go. Bang Io, Sega Dreamcast. Let me make sure the controls are on the right control. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, this is one thing I should mention. Um, if you try to go play this game yourself, so there's different control modes in this. It starts you on this. I would recommend doing this, because when I first started playing, I was on the other one, and the default is this. I think this is a better control scheme, um, so I, I would switch to that if you're, if you're gonna play it. That's right, uh, Vermin. How you doing, Darth Gilius? Rye guy. Judge Groovy Man. All right, everybody's coming in. What does no conversations do? Oh, um, is that an option? Let me see. Well, it's off. Oh, if I turn it on, then nobody's, maybe nobody's gonna be talking to me. I mean, I'll tell you what though, uh, I was playing this game before and a couple of thing, the things that they said made me laugh, but you know me. This is like one of the first times, it's like, okay, they're giving me the option to turn off the dialogue and I almost want it on in this game. Because I didn't even realize until right now that it had that option. Uh, I gotta say, like, this is a game where you might want to actually have the dialogue on because it's like, it's not... They don't talk like too much. That's really interesting. I tell you what, for the, for the moment, I'm gonna actually leave it on and then maybe a little later I'll turn it off, but that's really cool. So maybe I'll do that later. I'm actually gonna leave it on, believe it or not. Because I do want uh, people to see what that is like. And you can easily drop out back to the menu in this. Um, so, okay, so there's all these different levels that you can do, and you can go back into the levels and try to get higher and higher scores. So I've, I'm up to level six here. So let's, uh, I'll just start on level one and I'll show you like what the game is basically. I like how you're sticking to Dreamcast for the second day in a row. Well, I've been trying to find Dreamcast stuff that I like, and I, basically I did a stream yesterday where I was playing a bunch of Dreamcast games, and like, I started that and I was playing uh, Cannon Spike, which I thought I was gonna really like, but I ended up not really, I don't know, I was kind of bored by it. Um, it's cool that it has Street Fighter characters and has like Mega Man and stuff, but I don't know, I thought the gameplay was a little bit lacking. Anyway, so uh, Bangayo, so you got all these enemies here. When you get, what I found basically is when you get completely surrounded by enemies is when you want to use your scatter. So I'm gonna show you. Now I'm not an expert on this, and like it, as I'm uh, as I'm playing, if you know thing, other things. Okay, so see how there's like all these enemies. So right here, boom. I, it could be better than that, but basically, the more you're surrounded, when you shoot your scatter bomb off, the more missiles you're gonna shoot out. The more things you hit all at once, the higher that, see the meter that looks like an explosion in the middle? The higher that will go. This is at least from what I understand so far, you know? And you know, with this game, it's this is like a, a score game. Um, but also, look in the bottom left. So you see that meter? That's that's important, and I'm going to explain that. So 
watch this. As I'm shooting stuff, watch, I'm gonna shoot, just shoot anything. So the meter's going up just as you're shooting stuff, right? Not and not as you're collecting fruit, that, that doesn't do it, but like as you shoot stuff, the meter goes up. When the meter gets to the top, you get another scatter bomb. See, it just went up, and I think five is the maximum, unless that can be like raised somehow. I'm not sure. Um, so right now, I, I think I have the max amount of scatter bombs. So anytime that I get like super surrounded by stuff, is when I'm gonna want to use the scatter bombs to get, you know, more points, basically. And then also, if there's like a lot, say I could do like that, that kind of thing. So that's pretty much what they're having you do. Um, Cause that's basically like a score multiplier is what that really is, I believe. And then you can go around, you can collect all the fruit. And if you, if you can get that score multiplier high enough, I think the fruit changes into different types of fruit that's worth more, like apples, and because like right now it starts to be with oranges, right? So I think it goes to like apples and pineapples and whatever, all, all different kinds of fruits. So that's as much as I sort of understand about this so far. Like I said, this game is, was on Nintendo 64. I think it was originally on Nintendo 64, so I don't know if like the, I don't know if that's like the ideal thing to play this on or not, but I think, you know, the Sega Saturn was like a little bit more powerful than the Nintendo 64, right? So maybe, there you go, like this is an area, like I was kind of surrounded, right? This is probably an area to use that scatter. Something like that. Um, so I, I'm not sure what the ideal thing. Oh, oh, see that right there? Actually, I guess it was ideal because look how that. Look at the apple. So there you go. At least I did it a little bit. And the, the more you get that higher and higher, uh, I think per stage, you know, the more points you're gonna get. And then you can keep going back into the levels and try to get a higher and higher and higher score per level. So it's not like you're. It's which is actually that's really kind of. I think that's kind of cool and interesting is that you're not necessarily trying to get um, a high score for the whole game at once, I guess. You're trying to get, and there's another apple. Um, apple, asshole. Uh, you're trying to get these high scores per level, and I kind of like that because it kind of like breaks it down. Like imagine if, you, imagine if you're playing like Donkey Kong, and instead of like trying to get the high score for the whole game, you're trying to get the high score per screen or something like that, which you know could be an interesting um, hack or something to do for somebody, I don't know. Um, but where you can keep going back into the same level, I mean. Um, but anyway, that's the, the general idea, and I haven't even uh, swapped to the other character yet. I should, I'll, I'll, I'll do that and show you that in a second. I can blow these up. So, so watch this too. So then I can hit L and you switch to the other person, and then you have, then you have this other character. If you look in the top left there, you see that you switch between the characters. So that's the one character and the other character. I don't know their names. So when I first started playing this, I just thought it was a. I thought it was a robot that um, was like changing forms, and maybe it kind of is, but it's like you're, it's like you're swapping between characters. Anyway, my time's about to run out, so that's not great. Haha, -ha, you are at the top speed, or just very small. I take it you're the boss of the station, the boss, or maybe I am urchin. I'm going to be beaten like a street urchin like you. Beat the boss. Oh yeah, thanks. Beat the boss. Find the goonies. Always good advice in a game when they tell you to just to beat the boss. You, you would never think of that on your own, right? Anyway, I think that's the general idea of the game. And then you go stage by stage by stage and try to make through all the stages. Very arcadey, and I like that about it. I, I've done better on this stage before. Uh, Don Key Balls. Thank you very much for the sub. Like Don Knotts, uh, the key from Zelda, and uh, was it uh, Balls 3D or whatever on Super Nintendo? I think that's what your name means, right? Oh, or is it Donkey Balls? Oh, I get it now. You give it a sub to Master Chef 21. Thank you very much for doing that. And Smack the Booty. 
Thank you very much for the tier one sub. So their name is not Smack the Booty, but I like to say it that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ultraman was overrated anyway. So anyway, I've done that stage. I mean, I could do it again. I'll, I'll just I'll go through the stages again so you can see them. So I, I, like I said, I did the first few stages, but we'll move on. So like this, you go up to this, and this is basically like, like an information thing. Info station. It's like when you go to the mall, and you and you don't know where to go, and you go, or the airport, and you go up to the info station. Excuse me, where is gate 69? And they're like, oh, we'll tell you what six, where 69 is. It's miracle, haha. -ha. It's miracle lucky time. See, my chat has been rubbing off on me, and it's not good. Anytime I ask for the number in any game, I'm like, I say to guys, I'm like, how many points do you think I need in this game to get this object? And then I look over and they go, 69, Mike, that's how many points. And now it's gotten to the point where now I'm starting to do that and it's really bad. So now I'm gonna have to turn the chat off for the rest of the year. <laughs> because I hate that. Anyway, super sexy M. <laughs> Who's she talking about? <laughs> This time, I'll let you know something of the secret of the shooting in Bangayo. Wow, all right. What sort of secret is here? Ricky's weapons are homing spears, which pursue enemies without being aimed. So that's like my, my main guy, Mammy. Mommy, I don't know how to pronounce it, shoots with bound bullets, which bounce off the wall. Okay, that's the second character. Extremely effective in tight places. So you see why I like to have the dialogue on in this game? Is anybody else here extremely effective in tight places? You can replace the bullets using the L button. I mean, this is all stuff I know already. All right. So we go here. I can switch the character. And then you can do you can do this kind of thing. And, the, and this is where you want to use the second character. This is why, like, the first stage, you're not needing to use that too much. But now that we're on this stage, they're like, okay, here's the stage where you learn. They specifically made, I think, these tight corridors to make it like, all right, now you need to learn how to use the second character. You know, is the way I see it, at least. They want you to know how to use everybody. Again, I'm trying to get my meter up here. I don't know if you get more points if you beat the stage quicker. Like that might be a thing, but I'm not, I'm not sure if that's uh, how this game works or not. So I don't know. We will learn as we go. Okay. This, this one's always like really hard to hit. I feel like they do this on purpose so that you can just like, here, let me switch to this, and then I'm gonna like, oh, that, see, that didn't even work. I don't know how to get by that one. So what I do here, by the way, this is like I'm using the control stick on this part. This game is like weird with the controls. Um, like there's a lot of things going on um, with how you control everything. Get some more of these guys. Man. Man, here, what if I do that? Oh, oh, you can use her special scatter. Oh, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. I didn't think about the secondary character scatter. That's probably what they want. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I messed with that yet. All right, so like here, I'm gonna do this. And you don't like I think necessarily have to collect every single fruit, but if you're going for a high score, so I don't know that I'm going to be like going for a high score on every single stage. Just so you know. Um, so here I'm going to switch to the other character. Let's see if this actually works. So we're on here. Her. I'm going to do this. 
I mean, yeah, that kind of helps. I guess that's what they do, that, what they want. So there you go. I guess I finally learned how to do that. And that's like energy. All right, so I have three of these left. If I can just get enough that I can get one more. Come on. All right, now I got four of them. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna start this. You're still alive? I'm the boss. It's the same boss. I wish that each state, I don't know if he's gonna be the boss through every single thing. I hope that as we go like later, they change this character. Like I'm fine with him here. Like I'm not saying that I like dislike the character other than that his chin looks like balls. But um, I kind of wish that like every like, I don't know, couple stages they like change the character. So we'll see if that happens, I don't know. Hopefully it does. Are you the same person? Get ready, go. I like that he's like questioning it. He's like, well, didn't I beat you already? How are you still like alive? All right, now I used all that. So, the, you know what, the way I was doing that also wasn't great. I was kind of just like using it whenever. What, what I should be doing is using that when all the shots are, like when he shoots, that out is really when I should be using that, I think, because then I'd be, my scatter bombs would be hitting all of his projectiles, and then I think I would get more points, I believe. Yeah, get out of here, Ultraman. That's your record. My record was terrible. Anyway, so. Oh, Diablo. Um, so, yeah, and, like, the third Diablo was on Switch. So the thing is, I'm, like, so far behind with Diablo, man. I'm still, like, on the first Diablo, I'm going to be honest with you. He's asking me if I'm hyped for Diablo 4. So, like, I've, I had Diablo as a teenager. I played it back then. I think back in the 90s I beat it. But even if I didn't, I know that I played most of it. Um, Diablo 2, I had to, I played a little of it, but I would, like, play a little bit of it, and then I'd, like, move on to a different game. I didn't, like, I, I, I didn't get, like, super obsessed with it. Diablo 3, I tried briefly. I had it on the Switch. So, like, honestly, like, Diablo 2, I played, like, a little bit. Diablo 3, barely. I played it for maybe, like, an hour. And then, yeah, so... He's asking me about Diablo 4, so the thing is, honestly, I'm still in a place where I'm like, I I streamed some Diablo, like the first game. I want to do another stream at some point of Diablo 1. Um, I want to go through and I want to beat the whole game again, because I just feel like... Sometimes, did you ever feel like with a game that even though you beat it, and maybe this is just me, but like even though you beat the game, you feel like you need to play it through again because you feel like you just didn't get everything out of it. I guess that's what happens when you really like a game. Like, like Link to the Past is something that I'm like, I can't just play that game once. You have to play that game like 20 times, you know, to like, you know? It's like there's certain games that are just like, I can't only play it one time. I have to play it again and again and again and really like experience it. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons I like to do the challenges and stuff and go back into it because that like so now I feel like I've experienced ca like Castlevania, you know, it's like I, you know, I play it through, but then I play it through again and you, because it's like the first time you play the game, it's like you're a mess and you don't really know how to play it. But like you eventually get to the point where you are like doing like a no death run of Castlevania. Now I'm like, okay, I'm I'm pretty good with that game. Like I feel like I've experienced it. I understand the controls. I know how to play it the way they intended. All that. Um, so sometimes I feel. And then there's then there's games that like I don't like like that much. And then I don't care to do that. But the more I like a game, the more I want to like play it over and over. And I like really like the first Diablo. I think my problem with, the, with is this: I haven't played enough of Diablo One for me 
for me to even go to any of the rest, the rest of them yet. If I eventually play so much Diablo one that I'm like satisfied with it, then I'm then I'll be ready to like play Diablo two. <laughs> so like that's where I'm at with Diablo is like I want to play through the first game again, even though I've already beaten it at least two times, maybe three in my life. Um, I want to play it again. I just don't feel like I've done it enough. But that might, I think, and I think that comes from re liking the game so much that I want to experience it multiple times in multiple ways and have multiple playthroughs of it. And then eventually I'll come to the point where I'm like, okay, okay, I'm good with Diablo 1. So that's like how I feel about it, honestly. <laughs> and Danny Evil Robot, thank you for the sub. Fair enough. Is, does anybody else feel that way or am I weird with that? <laughs> 1cc for action games, 100% for adventures. Re replayability. It, right. Re the replay value. Right. Yeah. Uh, and thank you for the bits. Classic Mike Cade. You know what? I don't know much about that. Um, classic Mike Cade. I'd have to like look into it. I'm bad at keeping up with all the new stuff that comes out. I'm 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 going on a Dreamcast game here, you know. People keep asking me, they're like, "Are you gonna play Pizza Pizza Time? Are you gonna play Pizza Time?" Oh, that's not the name of it. Pizza Pizza something. Pizza Tower. They're like, "Are you gonna play Pizza Tower? Are you gonna play Elden Ring?" Probably someday, but I, I'm like playing Dreamcast right now, like, <laughs> you know. Now I don't care. Now I should probably turn it off. <laughs> I just wanted you to see some of the, like, the, oh, oh, every time you go through it. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm turning it off now. Once I get out of this level. Um, but I wanted you to at least see some of the dialogue stuff. It, if you, like, you know, like funny dialogue and stuff, I think this game has it. I just don't care. That's the thing for me. Like, even when the dialogue is like, I'm like laughing at it and I think it's funny, I just don't fucking care. I think, like, I just like to play the games for the for the games. That's just how I am. And I think this is a game that, like, it legit, like, is, like, making me laugh and saying things that I think are funny, and I still don't care. Like, that, you know? So it can it can even like be a good dialogue that I think is funny, and I still don't want to hear it. <laughs> like that's how I am with games. So it's like there's no chance with me with dialogue and story stuff. It's just like there's really or very little. Like I'll look at it for like two seconds and I'm like, all right, I'm good. I want to play the game now. That's just how I am. I don't know. I'm like. You know, that's just how I am. I think it probably also comes from games that interrupted, like, the gameplay. I think other games might have, like, ruined that for me, like, in the past. I'm probably naturally that way anyway, but it's like sometimes you're playing a game and you just want to play the game, and then all this this dialogue stuff comes up, and you're like, man, I don't want to read all this stuff. So then it, come, it almost, like, ruins it for, like, every other game, because then I'm like, all right... Now I'm just like annoyed by like dialogue boxes in general. I just don't want to see it. And also, I think that means that's what, like when the dialogue boxes are on the screen and then I'm not reading them and people are like, and I, there you go, by the way. Do you really want to know? And there's only one L. Um, when the dialogue boxes are on screen and then I, I'm like not reading them, I think that comes from annoyance of playing games and having to skip through dialogue that I don't want to read. That way, even if I'm playing a game that I like and the dialogue's good, when the dialogue pops up, I'm just, my mind is just like tuning it out because of bad experiences with previous games. I think that's really what's going on with, with that. It's like my mind being like, nope, not gonna read it. Nope. I mean, really. All right, so I can't get this up. Oh, did he? Oh, there you go. I got to like 200 or something. Did you see that? So that's the kind of thing you want to do. I don't exactly know how I got that high up, but oh, I got five of these left. Wow. 
So here, that, like that. See, I had it three, 300 or something I got it to, and that's kind of what you want to do. I'm still learning exactly how, but it's that kind of thing. So like if the boss or if you're surrounded by a bunch of things, there's a ton of projectiles everywhere, that's when you want to use your scatter bomb, as far as I understand it so far. You've been traumatized by bad video game dialogue. Um, and it's, it's not even necessarily that the dialogue was bad. It's just that if I'm not in the mood to read like paragraph upon paragraph, you know, you play the game, it's like some side scroller or something, and then you get to some character, and then it's like paragraph, 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 and I'm just like, I just want to play the game. It's like that. So I get like annoyed of, of having to read all this stuff when I'm like trying to play the game, and then, it, then I get to the point where I'm just like fucking annoyed by all of it. You know. What TV am I using? Uh, uh, right now I'm using a PVM. I don't so I don't use the PVM and BVM that much anymore. Um, most everything I do is component. Um, so I have found I still I like the PVM. I like the BVM. That's all, it's all good. It's a very good monitor. I recommend them. They're great. Um, but I have learned that I I prefer the Wega. TVs, personally, like the, so the Sony Trinitron, like the Wega stuff. Like these are both Trinitrons, by the way. Like this is a Trinitron, that's a Trinitron. But right now I'm using the PVM. Um, but I tend to like the other one better. Um, I like the component Wega TV more than I like the PVM and the BVM. So the the BVM especially, I find that the pixels are so perfect. They're like absolutely perfect, and it's it's too perfect for me because it's like I've talked about this before, uh, I think a lot, but um, on like the more consumer level television, I feel like that's more how they intended the games to look, where it's almost like the pixels kind of merge together, they kind of blend together. And I feel like that's how the games should look. When you play it on a BVM, um, it's more like exact squares. And I don't, that's like, it's okay, but I don't like that as much as like when they blend together. I think the designers back then designed the games for the consumer level televisions for, to have that sort of blending, because it's not quite as perfect. So it's a weird situation as where you want it to not be as absolutely perfect as it could be. Um, you know, it's a little weird. They're both great though. Uh, so anyway, so I'm using a, uh, right now I'm using a PVM monitor. Uh, so yeah. So the BVM exposes the dithering more. Is that what the uh, uh, term is called? I'm, I'm bad with all the terminology, but if that's what the term is called, is, is it dithering when... The, I'm trying to think of like a good example of like... Like certain char these characters... Uh, people have like posted about this a lot online, but it would be like certain characters in games like might have like shadows on them or something. And like the way the shadow might like look on a character or the depth will look different when it's more blended compo compared to when the pixels look very perfect. And it just doesn't look right if it's not blended. If, if that's called dithering, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess. I just basically I like I know it when I see it, <laughs> you know. God damn it! All right, this is getting harder now. I haven't done this level yet. Game over. In my opinion, so long as it's on a CRT, it's as intended enough. Um. That's, I think that's a gigantic step in the right direction. I go a little bit further with that as like, and I've had like other CRTs too, 
Um, I have, uh, what was the other ones I had? I had a Samsung, I think, and I had, I had my Commodore one, the Commodore 64 one. See, the other thing about, like, all the different monitors give off different looks, too. It's just kind of like what you ultimately prefer for what. I actually really like how games look on the Commodore 64 monitor. I think that's really what it kind of comes down to, really, guys, is, like, personal preference. So, like... I have, like, all these different CRTs, and the games will look a little different on the different CRTs. And I'm just telling you, the, the one I prefer, like, if I'm playing Genesis or Super Nintendo or NES and that stuff, I prefer the Sony Trinitron Wega televisions, and I like to use the component with them. Because I feel like that's a little better than the like AV right but it's not quite it's not quite you're not quite going to the BVM level where the pixels are like perfect so it's sort of like an in-between so that's where I'm at with it but I mean listen when we when we were growing up we didn't have that well you know we, we had AV usually or like early, early on it was uh, RF you know I mean, that's what I originally had. I had fucking RF, and it sucked. And you know, even back then, like I felt like it sucked. Like RF sucked. I don't think there's any situation where I honestly, you know, I joke around. I'm like, oh, I should just do RF, but like I don't like I, I, it, RF. Fucking sucks. You know, you don't want to be having that. I mean, that's that's one thing I can say for sure. You know, I, I, you know, I don't want that. But. um... I remember when it went from, uh, the day I, I went from RF to AV, I specifically still remember it to this day. I was a kid, and it was, the, it was the fucking 80s, and I didn't know what I was doing. I was a fucking kid. So I was always hooking the stuff up with uh, the RF and the fucking, the, you know, the the gray, like, box on, like, the NES. And then my Atari also had the TV game switch, right? And that's what I had for, like, the early 80s, in, probably until, like, 87 or 88 or something like that. Around, like, 1988 or 1989, I think, somewhere in there. Like, the first year or so I had the NES, I think I was doing the RF shit. Because when I play, I'm going to tell you something. When I play, I remember when I played Ghostbusters back then, and Jaws, I think I was doing all that with the fucking, with that gray, that shitty, you know, all that. That's how I was doing that. But I'm pretty sure that, so I had a um, front load NES. And I somehow figured out, because I was a kid figuring this stuff out on my own. I think what it was is I was also doing stuff with VCRs. And I was learning about AV and all this stuff. And then I I was putting together multiple VCRs to tape stuff. And then I was learning about, uh, like, the yellow, white, and red AV composite cables. And I didn't know what they were called back then. As a kid, I called it, you know, oh, the yellow, white, and red cables. I didn't know what the hell they were. And I didn't know they were AV, you know. I didn't know any of those terms or anything. Anyway, so I'm, like, messing around with VCRs. And then I'm pretty sure, like, one day I just looked at the side of the NES and I'm like, wait a second, this has, like, the red and the, the white or whatever, or the yellow and the white, whatever it is on the side, on the side of the NES. And then I plugged it in and I was like, blew my fucking mind. I, I like, remember that moment. Blew my fucking mind seeing the... Tr and from that point on, I was like, and you know, and I had also seen it like that before, but I don't think I, because I was a kid, I don't think I knew how it was done, because my neighbor across the street had it, and his looked great, and I was like, I'd go home and I'd be like, I don't know why mine doesn't look as good, <laughs> you know? So you're like eight years old or whatever, like I'm just figuring all this stuff out, um, and then from then on, it was all AV. Honestly, it was all AV until. Even into when we were doing the nerd stuff, it was AV. Um, so I'll tell you when I started going beyond that is when I started streaming. It's probably about a year, 
a year or so into my streaming that, you know, with the YouTube and all that, I started to hear about RGB and all that. And I'm like, RGB? I don't know about anything like that. And I, I didn't know anything about it because we didn't have RGB in the States. Like, our televisions, like, didn't have that. So I didn't know, I didn't know what the fuck that was. And I see all these, like, weird cables and stuff. I'm like, I don't, what is all this? But I saw all these videos, and they're like, oh, you gotta have your game set up all with, like... RGB and all this. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll try it if it's supposed to be better. So I started trying all this. See, that, there's where you want to like do that, I think. Yeah, yeah actually, see how I was like surrounded, and that was probably a good moment to do that. Um, so all these people online are like, oh, you got to do this like RGB stuff. So I'm like, fine. So I like, you know, I tried it. God damn it. Switch to the. Do I have to be. There we go. Um, I think you got to. Oh, no, you can switch in the air. Never mind. I thought that you had to be standing on the ground to switch. Um, so anyway, so then I was like, okay, how do I do all this? And then I start to figure that out, and some people help me. Um, a big thanks to, like, uh, Retro RGB. It helped me, like, a ton to do all that. Um, so I set up all my stuff, and I got, like, PVMs and BVMs, and I got started getting into all that. And then... Uh, for a couple years, for like probably three or four years, I was using pretty much all RGB stuff on stream. And then eventually, I don't know what happened, but eventually I was like, yeah, but it looks like, I don't know, I guess I saw like another, I, I guess I saw like a Wega TV or whatever, and I was like, oh yeah, like that's more how it used to look. And I was like, okay, so then I like set up the, uh, the Wega thing, and I was like, you know what? I think I prefer it that way, actually. So, like I said, it all kind of really comes down to your personal preference. I like, and like I said, I like the Commodore 64 monitor. I think I know it's like a lot of people are like, oh, that's a shitty monitor. I get that, but like when I plug stuff into it, it's got a very like unique look. It might be nostalgia on my part, but it's got sort of a unique look to it, and I like to play games on that. But I'll tell you what. Regardless of what it is, with retro games, I like to play retro games on some type of CRT. Like, I don't, I do not like to play retro games on a flat screen. Sometimes I do it, though, out of convenience. Like, if I don't feel like setting something up or it's just easier with streaming, then fine, I'll use, like, a flat screen, but I really don't pr prefer it. Um, if I ever have the choice, usually... There's sometimes there's been days where I'm fucking just lazy and I don't feel like hooking something up and then I'll just do it's just easier some days to put it on like a flat screen but I definitely always prefer CRTs with re with retro games but when, you know once you get to what like Wii U I guess and beyond I, then it can all be like a modern TV you know so anyway oh yeah I got to turn that off shit Is he gonna like shoot stuff at me? There. Right, I'm gonna wait for him to shoot a bunch of stuff, and that's when I'll use this. Like right there. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Come on. God damn it. I'll get it. And then some people, you know, well, whatever. <laughs> I was gonna go on another rant, but let me see what. Um, let me see what people are saying. Good day. Show the ten-inch treasure. Oh, my dick. <laughs> this game was made by Treasure. Hey, see, I brought it back to the game immediately. Hee <laughs> hee. I think RGB is more blurry than S video. Um. Yeah, then you get into that RGB versus S video. Um, I was doing S video with, oh, I think 3DO, 3DO I think, is what I hook up that with. But I think now I have a solution for that. Oh, I no, I have a, I think I have a cable that does component for that. I forget what I use now on that. Honestly, I did a 3DO stream recently. I think it's, I think I use component. 
Uh, Snarf Poo, thank you very much for the sub. Is that like a Thundercats reference? Fart sausage in my anus? Yeah, I, oh, I agree with that so much. Nintendo 64S video is decent. So I have different um, Nintendo 64s. Uh, so I have a I have an HDI, HDMI Nintendo 64 and I have a component Nintendo 64. I prefer the component because I can play the component on my component television instead of playing it on the H, you know on a modern TV. So and it's Nintendo 64. Like it should be on. Ideally, it should be on, on a uh, CRT. So that's why I do Oh, look at that. That should... See? That was good. That's the kind of situation you want to use that. I mean, you got 8 billion, you know, bullets coming at you there. There you go. And you get all the apples. I don't think I've gotten a Beyond Apple yet. So I'm not really sure what more to do. Maybe if there's, like, multiple situations that all happen rapidly where you're shooting like huge groups of things I haven't just quite gotten there yet damn can we like kill that thing I believe this was done by Treasure. And they did so many good, so many good things. All right, hang on, I wanna take out more of this crap first. And did I already get the one over here? I already got that one. I'm just trying to get rid of some of this before I go fight this boss, so I'm not as bogged down by getting shot by things. Okay, now I should be pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Here we go. Dude, dude, oh, I keep forgetting to turn off the... Oh, shit. Oh, hey! Did it, did it like, pull me into it? Come on! Sorry to go on such a long rant about CRTs again. I know I do that too much, but they were asking me. All right, so now I'm on level seven. I think there's like 45 or something, so there's a lot of levels. Be careful when pausing, you don't want to quit the game. Uh, I mean, worst case though, it's like I would only have to do, like redo the one level. Anyway, let me exit here. I'm gonna turn that on now. Oh, clear scores. That's what you don't want to hit. Holy crap! I hope. I would hope after you hit that, it just like it's not just like you tap it once. I, I would hope there's a confirm after that. I don't want to test it. That's scary. And also, I wonder if you can clear individual stage scores out. Anyway. You love it because you're very passionate about it. You don't think it's a rant. Uh, I guess it's not a rant. It's just a conversation. You're right. I play Streets of Rage 4. Yeah, I streamed it. I like love that game. So yo, that that's um an example of I think you can switch to like 
how do I say this, like like 8-bit, 16-bit graphics in that, right? Or certain parts of the game look like that. I actually, I don't like, or the characters, I think you can, the char- you can switch the character to like an 8-bit or 16-bit like look, right? Because there's like all these different characters, because I, I think you can unlock that. I don't prefer the 16-bit, it might be 8-bit, whatever the style is, like the retro look. I do not prefer that. I actually prefer the modern look. Like, I actually, I like the way they did that game. That's an example of a modern um, game that they really fucking got right, in my opinion. That's a fucking great game. And, um... I, for, I forget if you go, if you go and you watch my stream, I, I talk about it. But there was something in that that I feel like a lot of beat 'em ups can get boring. But I felt like they really did a lot with the mechanics to make it so that game doesn't get boring. Because a lot of beat 'em ups, you play them and you're just like walking from left to right, and like it's just very monotonous, you know. It's like like the Simpsons arcade or something like that, or like tur like the turtle stuff. And as much as I, I I do like love those, but they can get boring. You're like playing them for like thirty forty minutes, or like X Men and stuff. And it's like those games are beautiful, and I I like them, but it's just like they kind of can get boring. One one, another game that kind of fixes it is um, Dungeons and Dragons Shadow over Mastara. Kind of fixes it because that has the uh, like item wheel. And I feel like that gave the game more mechanics to make it a little less boring so that you have more things to do. And, uh, but like, uh, Streets of, what was Streets of Rage 4, um, I, I, I forget what it was, but they're, like, they have a lot of different mechanics going on in it, and I didn't feel too bored by it. And also, another thing is, you know, I talk about when, like, characters in a game, they punch, and sometimes it feels like you're just punching nothing. There was something I was playing yesterday that was like that, where you're just like shooting, and, and it's like you're, it's like you, it, you don't feel the impact. That game is really good with like it's like bam, like you really like hit the stuff. And I think I use that one character that has the guitar, the girl. I don't remember what her name is, but um, I love I love that game. I think that's a great game. I want to, you know, what I want to play though. Speaking of like all these sequels and the fourth fourths. Um, I want to replay Double Dragon 4 because I don't remember if I like like that or not. I think I like that too, but I want to play it again and confirm if I like it because I don't remember. I think I played it like one time and I don't, I can't fucking remember anything about that one. But Streets of Rage, yeah, I would, that's a game I recommend for sure. Um, Absolutely. I, I thought it was a great game, at least. Yeah. Everybody's got their opinion. What they what they like, what they don't like, you know. I don't know. Somebody somebody's gonna come along next and be like, that game sucks. You know, I always get that. Whenever I say like I like a game, then I get that. Or they'll they'll get like Mike doesn't like anything modern. And then I'm like, oh yeah, well I really like that street like Streets of Rage 4. The game sucks! You know, it's like You can never win. What is going on here? I can't get through that? Like, can I blow that up? Oh we can blow that up. This is crazy. I need help. Wow. Oh my god. Help, please. Help. Anybody? You know, and by the way, so I mean, I've been talking about uh, scoring. So if you like, I'm like trying to teach you like how you can score a lot. Um, but with this game, I don't necessarily know. Did the music like run out? I don't necessarily know that I care about getting a high score on each stage. Oh, here, wait. Um, I kind of just want to make it through all the stages, uh, to be honest with you. Ooh, look at all the apples. You like 
I, I just get so excited. I'm like, ooh, apples, apples. <laughs> yeah, the music like definitely ran out. It's weird. Either ran out or something weird happened. I don't know. Doesn't it change it like it changes it like almost into a totally different game when you don't have the music? Th this right here shows you how important music is to games, you know? How many games would not be fun if you didn't have <laughs> good music, you know? So important. Because you don't want to be fucking playing this shit in dead silence. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Wonder, like, is is there a game out there that's like that you can play in dead silence that's still fantastic? There's there's my YouTube video, dead dead silence. I don't. There aren't many games that are just like dead silent, right? Fuck. I, I have like a lot of trouble with these parts. All right, there we go. I guess I'm supposed to do that. Oh, he, this is going to be the boss, huh? All right, so let's have it on this. Okay. It's weird as shit. Is this thing going to blow up at the end? I'm going to, like, back up. That was the boss? It didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't like that. That's stupid. Every Mega Man, right? Like Bela Lugosi Dracula has no music. I mean, I, it, there's parts that have music though, right? But yeah, it's mostly silent. Um, Actually, maybe there isn't, to tell you the truth. Shit, man. Can we switch to the other thing, please? I was on the wrong one. Okay. God damn. So if I go through this, will it be... Oh, they, yeah, it really turns the dialogue off. You know, there might be occasions where I want it on because it's going to give me a tip on how to get through the level or something, but we'll see if I can figure it out on my own. So I actually might need to turn that back on. Let's see. Oh, look at that. over the laser, I think, because it, of the homing. I have a little bit of a hard time controlling the laser thing. Because with the, so, uh, I want to explain this. So with the laser, just so you know, so you have to move around with the D-pad. So if I switch the laser, I'm moving around with the D-pad, but then, I, then you have to use the control stick to like shoot the laser in lots of directions. But I'm moving with the D-pad, so I can't have my thumb on the D-pad and the control stick at the same time. But then again, you can use the buttons to do this. So I guess they want you to like do. I, I guess I could do that. Is what they want. But I've been using. I've been using the control stick. I, I'd like rather use the control. It's almost like I wish there was a diff, a, another. Um, like a, like if this was the GameCube controller and I had like the, or you know PlayStation controller and I had. A, Boy, I guess it's a shame that this wasn't released on, like, GameCube or... Somebody should should put, like, mod this game or whatever. Like, they, they do, like, these uh, homebrew games for GameCube and shit. Dude, this would be awesome if it was on GameCube to use a GameCube controller with this game. 
and have like the other stick, or I guess you could do like PlayStation as well, something like that. So now I gotta switch to this. There. Yeah, the, the, right. The music keeps like running out now. So I guess this is yeah. So th maybe that's them telling you like, yo, you gotta get through the stage quicker, or else the music's gonna run out. I think the music should run as long as the timer, though. That's kind of bullshit. Because I wasn't really thinking of this game as like a... Beat the level as quick as possible thing. But maybe, maybe that is what they want it to be. I like the little robots. Oh, crap. I'm like almost dead here. Crap. See how this goes. Do, 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 do. Give me some health, please. I need health. I need help. Okay, now we're here. Oh my god, dead. Dude, that thing in the middle is that the boss? Crap! God damn it! Let me at him. Maybe because I've been pausing it and talking. That might be why it's running out. I don't know. Uh, do, do, do. Mike, this game has too much story. <laughs> they could have done some hurry up music. It's true. There's an adapter you can buy to use your GameCube controller on the Dreamcast. Yeah, I mean, I know there's all those kind of adapters. I actually just bought an, an adapter to be, I, I have an adapter now that I can use a PS2 controller on a PS4. I, I, I did buy that. Um, I haven't tested it to see how well it works yet, but I did, I did do that. I'm so like tired of the fucking charging and the the drift, the analog drift and all this shit. And then I never have problems with PS2 controller. PS4 though, oh my god. It's like always a fucking problem. I have like fucking 10 PS4 controllers. It's not just like, oh, get a different one. It's like, dude, I have like a million of them. They, they're all, they all fucking suck. Everyone, I buy a brand new one and they all fucking suck. Fucking like analog drift and the fucking, uh, the power running out. It wants to be charged and all that shit. I fucking hate controllers that want to be charged. I don't want any controller that I have to charge. I don't want to charge a controller, ever. Plug the fucking thing in and have it fucking go. Look at it. This, look, it's plugged in and it's fucking going. Why would I ever want something less than that? By the way, I want to show you this. There it is. Look at him go. That's why you want. That's why you want a Dreamcast controller right there. If, I, if my controller doesn't have a cartoon character bouncing around on it, why would I even? They should bring that back. I want Nintendo. Nintendo, sh yo, Nintendo should release Switch controllers that have fucking little TV screens on them, and then fuck, you have like Mario and fucking Toad and shit like bouncing around and doing shit. Why not? Just for fun. Just for aesthetic reasons. Dreamcast had it. Why? Why does Dreamcast have something that Nintendo doesn't have? Get on the ball, Nintendo. I want Toad dancing around on my con I started like, giving like all these like insane demands. They're like, well, what don't you like about the uh, the Nintendo Switch, Mike? I don't like that Toad isn't dancing on my controller. This is stupid. You know, to you want Toad to dance on your controller? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me you don't want that. <laughs> I, 
I want all of them. I want I want Waluigi. I want a little bit. I want a Switch controller where it's a TV screen and Waluigi is jacking off Wario. Like if they don't have that, then I say that Nintendo sucks. Like, come on. Make something good. There, let's do that. Boom, oh, you see that? There you go. That's when you want to use that shit. Four hundred max! Oh, I got the max! Did I die? Oh no, I did it! I, there you go, I finally fucking did it. That's the multiplier you want. And how you get it is if there's eight million projectiles coming at you, that's when you hit the button and then you they're scatter bomb and then you can get it. I feel like on the on the first few stages, like they, there's not as much of an opportunity, but now that we're getting like a little bit further into it, the enemies are like shooting more stuff at you. So it's it's like easier to get that now, where on the first few stages it's like they're not shooting as many projectiles at you, so it's like Nice, you have the timing down. Yeah. See, I, you know why Mad Stalker? I think I was having the, the hard time with it. Like I was just saying, like on on the first few stages, the, the enemies aren't shooting like a bazillion projectiles at you, like with what just happened. So that's why I kept I kept trying to do it on like stage one, and I'm like, I can't get the fucking thing to 400 on stage one, you know. I want to also play the uh, the Nintendo 64 version sometime, someday, some down, someday down the road. Right now I'm doing this. I wanted to play some Dreamcast shit. So this game's on Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, and I, but I think it's also on Game Boy Advance because I remember playing it on that. Although I don't know if that's exactly the same as this or if that's like different levels or what. Oh, it's on DS too. Is it? Oh, wait a second. Am I thinking of wait, let's let's look this up. Maybe it's not Game Boy Advance. Maybe it's here wait. Um Bangai of Spirits on DS. I guess it's not Game Boy Advance. I thought it was Game Boy Advance. Okay, it's uh, it, it, it's DS, is what it is. All right. I think that's a different game than this. It's a oh, it's a sequel. Ah. Not every stage is designed to get the 400 max explosion counter. Yeah, that's what I'm learning. What is your favorite thing about this game? Um. I like that you can go into the options and you can turn off the story. <laughs> That's my favorite thing, probably. Um, I like that... No, I'm just kidding. I mean, half kidding. Um, I like that... I like how it's like it's like a bullet hell game, but it's it's like unique because it's like you're in these arenas. Like most most bullet hell games is are like you're at the bottom of the screen, you know, like a cave game or something, and you're in a spaceship, and then all these things are coming at you from the top. This is like you're a character who's flying all over the place, and everybody's like surrounding you. It's very it's very unique in that way. Um, and I like this idea of like having 8 million projectiles come at you and then you have this awesome like scatter shot thing you know um, I, it, like, I like how it's in arenas and not like your classic you know, I, I mean I love like vertical shmups and I like those kind of games too but it's nice to have something that's different you know that's sort of like a, I, the only word I can think to describe this is like a sort of like an arena 
based thing. And you know what's really fucking weird about this game? Is the fact that... So we're, like, in, we're in space, right? But... It's almost like these are, like, giant space stations. Wow, look at this. Oh, bananas! Bananas! Look at, look at that. That. See, did you see what just fucking happened right there? That's why I like this game. That should explain it right there. If you don't get it, then I don't know what to tell you. But that, that, you just saw the reason why I like this fucking game. Imagine that, like, you're, you're, you're in some kind of, like, war with, like, robots and shit. And then you're about to die, right? Because all these robots are coming after you. And then there's, a, and not only is there, like, a hundred robots coming after you, but they're all shooting, like, a thousand projectiles at you. And then right at the last second, right as you're about to die... The 20 million bullets are coming at you, and you're like, well, that's it, I'm going to die. But you, you remember, oh, but I have a weapon. And then at the last second, you blow up this weapon, and then 8 zillion projectiles come out from your fucking mech, and then you, you fucking defeat them. <laughs> you know? It's awesome. I fucking think it's great. Like, this is cool shit. I mean, listen, I'm a fucking nerd. I like this kind of stuff, okay? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I think it's fucking cool. I like the idea of being, you know, and another thing is like that you're, you're a mech going around. You're not, it's not just a spaceship again. Uh oh, this is the, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm in trouble here. There's so many enemies. Oh my god, I almost had him too. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I'll, get, I'll tell you another thing I like about this. I like that it's broken down into little levels. I feel like in the last like couple months, I've realized more than ever is I like games that are like little stages. You know, like that. It's like uh, that Metal Gear... VR missions. It's just like these short little missions. I really like that with games. So th th basically, like, you asked me what I like about it. There's a lot of things I like about it. Yeah. What, hey, Mike, what do you like about this game? I like when 400 missiles come out. <laughs> the fruits that have the most points are the pineapples. Okay. stages that are more designed as a labyrinth. Oh, like with the tunnels, you mean? I should use the lasers more. I know, I'm like learning, listen, I'm learning to like the lasers. I kind of like the missiles. I know I don't switch to the lasers much. Maybe I'll get more used to them. So far right now, I'm, I've been more of a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to force it. I'm gonna make myself, I'm gonna try to do the whole level with the fucking lasers mostly. Here we go. Alright, I tell you, you know why? I'll tell you, you know why? Alright. I just realized why. So, with the lasers, I gotta be, like, doing this. And I wanna be, I wanna be, I think I would, this is why I'm talking about, like, I would want two control sticks, I think. So, like, I have to, if I wanna shoot these lasers in all the directions. I'm like I'm like doing this with the buttons, you know? So like if let, let's say I'm like surrounded, right? What I would want to do is I want to like circle the thing around with this, but I can't move at the same time because I can't have if I grew another thumb if I can grow another thumb and then have one thumb on the D-pad and another thumb on the control stick, then it would be perfect. 
But unfortunately, I've only got I've only got two thumbs, and I would need another thumb coming out of my left hand. The one on the one on the D. then it would be perfect. But unfortunately, I don't have that. Um, so yeah. Um, but what I'm thinking is that maybe if I just uh, use my cock on that. But the problem with that is my cock is busy because I'm going to be slamming it on the table. Um, no, I'll tell you the real reason why is because I all last night I was slamming my cock and balls into the kitchen drawer. You ever put your cock and balls into the kitchen drawer and you, you open the drawer and then you got your cock and balls like resting in there and then you know you slam the fucking thing. So I was doing that like all night. So it's a little sore right now. So maybe next time I do a playthrough of this game, I'll, I'll use my cock on the D-pad. But for the moment, um, I'm wishing that I could grow another thumb. <laughs> That's why you prefer the Nintendo 64 can controller the n64 controller is perfect for it oh really though because like that also doesn't have to i would have to play it that's interesting i'd have to try it because that like that doesn't have two control sticks either so i'd be i'd have to try it to see why exactly that it would be better than this controller so maybe maybe at some point i'll do that but anyway, so like I was going through like Dreamcast games, and I, I, you know, I came upon this, and I was like, oh, I like this game. So I know it's on other things, but like I don't know. I decided to play this. It's like weird, I, because I'm not like a fighting game guy, and it's kind of like there are shmups for sure on Dreamcast that I like. Like I like Zero Gunner, and there, I can I can list a bunch. There's a bunch of sh shmups on the system I like. But outside of shmups, and I don't really play fighting games, I'm like, I, I was kind of having trouble finding some stuff on Dreamcast, especially exclusive. Like this is on Nintendo 64 as well, and apparently it might be better on Nintendo 64. And then also, um, I was playing Army Men. I like that Army Men game. And that, I think that that's a lot of fun, but then again, that's like on PlayStation. So it's like, I still feel like I'm kind of having a hard time finding like PlayStation exclusive games that aren't shmups, that aren't fighting games. Now, this game is like kind of a shmup, but it's, this to me is sort of like its own thing because it's not your traditional one. Like I said, because you're in an arena, it's you're like a character going around, you're not just a spaceship. It's not horizontal shmup, it's not vertical. It's like kind of it's like sort of a shmup, but it's sort of not. So, it's like almost it's almost like this a more like just an action game, you know? But I know there's like, you know, I'm also like it like kind of is. You're in you're in space and like you're flying around, so it like kind of is. It's like almost like you know how like people talk about like is Star Fox a shmup? And like same answer for that. Like kind like yeah and no. Like kinda it's like I feel like Star Fox ooh, that was cool. Is like almost its own genre. Kinda. It's almost its own thing. It's like yeah, technically I guess sure, I guess Star Fox is a shmup. But it's so different and unique that it's kind of like its own thing. And I feel like that for this, too. It's This is almost its own thing. That's how I feel about it, though. You know, so... Does the Nintendo 64 version have the English patch, though? Oh, so that I could, like, read it? Um, I don't know, but it probably wouldn't matter too much with this game. It'd be nice if the Nintendo 64 had, like, an English translated version. Um, you'd probably have to get, like, a somebody, like, if somebody made that. I don't know. A 2.5D platformer. Okay, I'll write, I'll, uh, Mad Stop, I'll write that one down. I haven't tried that one yet. See, I'm also, I'm also looking for stuff 
so listen, on my Dreamcast thing here, I have Xeno Crisis. But that's like a modern game that somebody made work on the Dreamcast. I know that that's a cool game, and I want to stream that too. But I'm looking for stuff that came out back then, right? So that, so there's that too. A rail shooter like Panzer Dragoon. Isn't that Xbox, though? Um, I played Panzer Dragoon on the original Xbox. It was, did they also release that on Dreamcast? I always thought of that as an Xbox game. I don't know if it's on Dreamcast. Like, I thought that was original Xbox. What did you think of Cannon Spike? I really wanted to like it, um, but I just, I didn't like it. Um, I like, I didn't hate it either. Like, it was, uh, it was, it's like, it just got a little bo boring. Um, I like the characters. I usually like games that are like top down, where you're shooting stuff like that. So, like, like I said, like on paper, like I should have liked that game, but I don't know what it is about it. It was just like I don't know. I wasn't not having fun with it. It just I got bored with it. Like honestly, but. Uh, Unfortunately, I mean, I thought it was cool that like Arthur was in it, um, and you could play as Mega Man. But Mega Man was like fucking annoying as shit, you know. Mega Man's like, <laughs> like over and over. Oh yeah, and then also when you're when you're Mega Man in that, you like turn into a ball and you're like rolling around. And I, I don't know, maybe I, like I had to get better with the controllers or something. But like, I felt like the ball that Mega Man turns into didn't control very well. It's like, do you have an enemy that's here, and like, I'm here, and then like, Mega Man's like, going up into the wall and shit, and it's just like, it was just like, I don't know. I didn't like the controls very much. Um, oh, and I think that was the game that I was talking about, like the impact of the shooting stuff, like didn't feel great. Uh, I think that that was actually the game, and that that's like super important to me. You know, because that, like, just takes all the fun away when, when it just feels like you're just not, you're shooting nothing, you know? Dude, I need health. Oh, there we go, right here. At least it's a little bit. This game's getting harder and harder as I go. It's getting harder and harder, guys. These, oh, these explosions are really getting me here. Come on. Wow. Dude, I don't even know. Is that the boss? Holy shit. <laughs> this is getting more interesting now that I'm getting a few stages in here. Did the Dreamcast version of Bang Gaio only work over RGB for you? I didn't try it any other way. I have this hooked up uh, RGB. My Dreamcast is on the PVM RGB, so I didn't. Um, do you mean like if I hooked up my Dreamcast with uh, um, like in a different way? Hang on a second. I'm gonna switch to this. I didn't try it a different way. Only doing, uh, man. Sorry, I'm trying to like concentrate on this too. Like, I don't have it hooked up. Like, what? Like VGA? You mean? I don't have it hooked up like that. I have it RGB hooked up. Yeah, like V. No, I don't have it hooked up VGA. I didn't try it. I just. Oh, I, it's, it's easier for me with my setup just to plug the Dreamcast in with an RGB cable and just plug it into the switcher thing. As a, I don't really have it. Um, I don't have the RGB stuff. Or I don't have the VGA stuff going for it. Fuck. I have to get the VGA cable out and whatever. I, I just don't. I just do the RGB. Like, VGA is good, too. I don't have anything against it. It's just... 
Because like, so my other systems that I use the PVM for, so here, here's another reason why. So Atari 2600 is also R RGB, and then, this is gonna seem stupid, but Atari Jaguar is also RGB. So it's easy for me to just plug those systems in with RGB, because like, I don't use VGA with Atari 2600, right? I'm using RGB with that. So for the, these other couple systems that don't do component yet, or I don't have a way to do component with them yet, I just plug them in with RGB. So that's why. It's not that I have anything against VGA. It's just it's just quicker for me to set it up that way. If that makes sense. Why though? So you you tried this game with VGA on Dreamcast and then it didn't work? Is that what you're saying? That's interesting. Cybercase, thanks for the sub. Oh, it doesn't work on VGA. Oh, okay. It doesn't work over VGA at all. Wow. On the Dreamcast, huh? So, I guess they would assume... Did this game come out? Well, then it would have to... Oh... Well, then it also doesn't. It also has AV, right? So I guess what people would. I'm thinking like back then, what people would have done. I guess play it with AV. If it doesn't work with the VGA, that's fucking weird. If it's on Dreamcast and it doesn't work with the VGA, that's bizarre. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. That's what they want you to do there. By the way, remember when I said I was gonna look, do the whole level with the laser beam and then I totally didn't? What are you gonna do? Oops. Oops, and there you go, the music ran out. I'm just trying to be as careful as I can and, oh, these guys, oh, they keep coming out, fuck. Dude, this section is like... Oh, because they keep fucking spawning. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Huh. I gotta find a way to... Alright. Maybe I am gonna try this laser beam more. God damn it. See what I mean? It's like I can't fucking play the game with the fucking laser beam because I can't move and use the fucking laser beam at the same time, really. I mean, it's like, it's kind of shitty. get that to kill these like whatever these spawner things it's like rough there you go I mean that's definitely what they want I'm, I'm trying to get used to it more so it's like the diagonals I have to like that's so weird I have to do like X X and A to do that, right? Or I gotta, see the one that's really hard is like X and Y. You know, Y and B is fine. A and B is like relatively okay, but that, do, to do the X and Y is hard to do, like with buttons. That's why you would wanna do this with like a control stick. 
So yeah, I guess, yeah, somehow Nintendo 64. If I can find a way to fucking... God damn it. Okay, I think I took that out. Here. Kill that pad. I got it. Okay. Alright, I think I did it. Wait a second. Oh, I thought that was gonna be like the boss. I guess not. Wait, there's more to this? Shit. This is crazy. What's going on with that thing? Fuck. Man, this is hard. How much time do I have here? There we go, good. Oh, that's probably the fucking end. All right. down there. I don't even know. Alright, let's change the other thing. Oh, here we go, here we go. This guy's not coming out here. Alright, I got this now. Oh, look at the little fucking guy. The little, uh, chicken thing. The hell? So weird. There we go. Alright, I finally got through it. I'm getting more and more used to the laser beam with this. I'm like, it takes some practice. I think it's doable. It's just you gotta really get used to it. So that's been my struggle is this is getting used to the laser beam. Like you can do it, but you really gotta like practice it. So all right, so it'd be like I can do like that. There we go. I'll get it eventually. This is just like a practice makes perfect kind of deal. So you know, I do, you know what? I think it's doable. It's just you gotta practice it. The like the controls on it. Maybe it's not bad. It's just, you, you really gotta like buckle down and get used to the controls. Um, I guess we're going around this way. I mean, honestly, with, you know what, also with this um, laser beam thing, the fact that it, like, you can kind of hit things from further away, because it's doing the ricochet. So it's like, I don't know. You probably want a combination of both, I guess. I'm, I'm definitely warming up to it, though. have its own like song and some of the songs aren't long enough <laughs> oh yeah this is what I was gonna say so all these buildings it's like so you're in you're in space in like a fucking Dyson sphere or something but you're like in space in this big space station er all these arenas out in space yet there are just like little houses made of wood It's like, how does that work? How do they breathe? Oh, look, it's Mario Brothers. 
Remember, remember Bowser? Who remembers Bowser and the fire wheel? Mike brings it back to basics. Who remembers Bowser? Me, I remember Bowser. Me, me, me. Oh my God, what am I supposed to do here? Wait, what? for that. So am I fucked now? Or is there nothing else I can do? Do I have to like restart the level? I suck if I have to restart the level. Let me go around and see if there's some other kind of path or something. Oh wait, wait a second. Here we go. Maybe I'll be all right. Here we go. Okay. I was gonna say I, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna like that if there was no way to get through it. But there is. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, as that stuff drops, you go back and then well Can I if I use the other dude? Can I get through these? Yeah, I can. Oh, that goes through that. God damn it. Uh, yeah, see, I don't like that the music is always running out. Can't, they should just loop it, start the track again. That's fucking stupid as shit. Okay, I found something I like, definitely don't like. <laughs> I don't like that the music fucking stops. There's no reason, just have the same exact music, just play again, you know? I'm not even asking for a new track or something, I'm just saying, just fucking loop the fucking thing. song I wrote it I'm pretty clever like that I can come up with great melodies right off the top of my head guys fucking thing. Here, suck my dick. Jeez. Thank God there wasn't, like, an actual boss to fight. I wouldn't have the time. Even though, I think you can go under the zero limit. Dun, 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 dun. On the Nintendo 64, it doesn't stop. You're really trying to get me to play the Nintendo 64 version. <laughs> well, hey, listen, do you have any more suggestions for Dreamcast games? So you heard my criteria, right? So my criteria, I'm talking to Mad Stalker right now. He's So I got to actually, I got a specific question for somebody in my, in my stream here. So Mad Stalker, I got a specific question. 
How do you know? So I'll ask. Okay. I'll have I'll I'll like name a game, right? I'll be like, okay, let's say this, like Bangayo. I'll be like, how? When the enemies shoot out projectiles, what is the exact timing that you have to use uh, your scatter bomb or something like that? I'll have a very like specific question. And he can answer it. It's uh, always, I feel like. How do you, uh, how can you always, like, you, like, he's like, you can go online and you can, like, look up a guide for a game. And, like, the guide doesn't say anything about, like, this very specific thing. And you're like, oh, man, this guide didn't say anything. And then you, like, you look at a YouTube video and you watch the YouTube video and you're like, oh, that review... They were like the the, re, the review was like oh this game was on Nintendo sixty four and it was on Dreamcast and they don't say anything about the, a very specific mechanic that's in a game and then I asked Matt Stalker and he's like oh it's this how do you know everything you know you know how you joke about we joke about like oh the person in the chat knows everything I feel like Matt Stalker is actually the person who know who really actually knows everything how do you know everything. He says, because I love to play these games, I played them to death on Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast. So I have another question. Is it just like shmup type of games? What if I asked you a really specific question about like Duck Dodgers like <laughs> or something like that? Like what if I asked you like about like bonkers? On Genesis, like a very specific question, would you still know the answer, or, or is it just shmup stuff and and bullet hells? It's because his uncle works for Nintendo. <laughs> Google, no, it's not Google. He he will answer questions that you you're not going to find on Google. It's not Google. You like shmups, platformers, arcade-style games, and puzzle games? Okay. So if it's outside of that, then you might not know. Because he's a nerd? He's God. Oh, okay. There's The chat says that you're God, so okay. Zelda's Q Cooch 2. Wait, Zelda's Cooch 2? Where are you? Have you always been Zelda's Cooch 2? Or is this a different... Are you the original Zelda's Cooch? Or is this a different cooch? So I got I got two cooches going on now. Wait, yeah, they said yes. Yes what? Yes, you're the original person? Yes, you're a new person? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> a salvage bar. Thank you very much for the Gifting us up to Matt Stalker, thank you. Oh, you are the original. That's what I was asking. Okay. Oh, that's true too, because it came up as the, with the uh, the. I didn't notice the little sword thing. I thought so. What I thought was it, it was another person that like added a number. So, so listen. So that's actually one of my mods. <laughs> I'm like, so I'm like, so who? I'm like, so who are you? They're like, Mike, I'm your moderator. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I told, I told you that I don't know how to use this shit. They're like, yeah, Mike, I'm your moderator. I've been your moderator for years. Oh. I'm really on top of things with this. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, this is going well. I'm, I'm a professional. I'm a real professional. Wait, level, level one, two. 
What do you mean level one, two? We're gonna do level one, two at the same time? What's that supposed to mean? What's, what's in this? Uh, how can I do level one and level two both at the same time? Well, I'm gonna do it. I think it might say level 12. No! I think it's level 1 too. And when we get to level 1 3, I'm gonna be, when we get to level 13, I'm gonna be like, it's level 1, it's level 1 3, guys. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know the mod. So, so far, we have Mike doesn't know his own moderators, and Mike doesn't know the number 12. This is going well. <laughs> All right, let's see how the level goes. What's what's this level 12 stuff? What is this number stuff? I don't get it. Somebody explain to me. <laughs> what is what is numbers? What is our numbers B is? Apple time. It's apple time! That's the only thing that's actually important here, guys, that is that it's apple time, all right? Let's be real about this. Boom. Boom, it's apple time. Oh, banana time, actually! Forget that, forget all that. It's fucking banana time. Yeah. And when Eric eats a banana, he becomes Banana Man. Nickelodeon in the 80s somehow ruined, ruined my whole life. I can't get, I, I'm going to tell you something. I can't get through a day without thinking about uh, barf. But you know the barf I mean, right? I don't mean barf. Let's see if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Does anybody know? You can't do that on television. Thank you very much. I can't get through a day without thinking about barf from... <laughs> from you can't do that on television. I don't think there's been one day since like 1987 since I haven't thought about barf. So that's my problem when I'm like in the middle of a stream and they're like, Mike, why aren't you paying attention to what's going on? I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm thinking about barf. I can't concentrate. That's like what's actually going on here. I can't get it out of my mind. I don't think I ever will. Like, what is it, like, introduction to the opposites or whatever the fuck? And the locker jokes? And the firing squad? All that, all that. All that shit. All of it. And then inevitably somebody's gonna, gonna go, Mike, you know, like Alanis Moore says on that. And Mike, did you know about the song? And Mike, did you know about Dave Coulier? Everybody knows about the Dave Coulier thing. We don't, everybody. It's like when you talk about gargoyles. What are, what are, gonna, what are people gonna talk about when you talk about gargoyles? Did you know that that's the cast of Star Trek The Next Generation? Everybody knows. Everybody knows. You don't, you don't need to bring up the Dave Cooley, I think. Everybody knows it already. There's no point. No point. Just stop. We get, we all know, you know? <laughs> it's like, fuck. Like, can I ever get through a Dave Coulier discussion without having to talk about that? 
And let me tell you something. I have Dave Coulier discussions daily, every day. At some point during my day, there inevitably will be a discussion about Dave Coulier. Every single day. I don't think that's another thing. I don't think there's been a day that I've gone without talking about Dave Coulier. I don't think. Pretty sure there hasn't been. And you guys, you know, why would there be? Why would there be a day when you don't talk about Dave Coulier? I'm dead. Maybe I should pay attention to what's going on in this game. Classic Mike Cade, thank you very much for gifting out subs to the community. They gifted out subs too. Uh, Peach's Pink Pussy, the all knowing, DM Lake, Goody Harry Goody, one, two, three. Goody Harry Goody, one, two, three! Adam TA, and the real best gamer. You guys all got gift subs from Classic Mike Cade. Thank you very much. Goody, Goody. Goody goody gumdrops, Harry goody goody one two three, subbed. <laughs> I got a gift sub from Goody goody Harry goody goody one two three. What the fuck is going on in this fucking place? Everybody in in here is insane. Hi Mike. Hi Daddy Mike. I would like to talk about Dave Coulier and Grandma's Cream today. Can we do that? Sure! Sure, goody, goody, Harry, goody, goody, one, two, three, goody, goody, goody. I'd be glad to talk about that. Cut it out! Thanks, Mike. That's why I come here. Goody, 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 gumdrops. This is great. This is why I stream. Now you guys understand why I stream. <laughs> Walker Texas Dangler, thank you for gifting out a sub to Crim3. That's one hell of a name. It's a great name. Dominic. His name is Dominic. So you gotta step it up, Dominic. You can change your name. You gotta, you gotta have it. See, when I get a, a name like Goody Goody Gumdrops, Goody Goody Harry, Harry Bear, Goody Goody One Two Three, I'm gonna remember that. Dominic? Hmm. Joe? Hmm. Uh, John? You know, if your Twitch username is John, like, I'm not gonna remember, you know? But Peach's Pink Pussy? I remember that name. I remember Peach's Pink Pussy. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about Peach's pink pussy. It's true. <laughs> or Zelda's Harry Muff. Exactly, that one too. Shit Toast. Oh yeah, that was a good one too. So there's somebody in here named Shit Toast. There's, uh, there's somebody who's Mike Matei as my father. Is a, is a person in here. I remember that one. <laughs> That's a good one. How, how are you, son? Yeah. Thanks for watching my streams. But I gotta tell you, you should be doing your homework. Really. Not watching daddy play games. Oh my god. But I want to watch daddy play games. <laughs> no, no. No, no, son.
This is where I make up the music again because there is no music. There's probably also not a day where I don't think about that song. So now you know what goes on in my head. It's all. And then uh, Dave Coulier, Peach's Pink Pussy, and that's about it. That's about all that's going on. All right, here we go. Hate that he has a shield. Got quite a bit of time now, so. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, what is happening? You do realize aliens watch your streams to figure out if they should help us or destroy us, right? Yeah, uh, so uh, I get messages all the time from them. So the Ferengi, the Cardassians, um, Car <laughs> Kim, um, <laughs> Uh, Vulcans, they, they send me letters sometimes, handwritten letters. I got all these handwritten letters from um, Vulcans, it's great. So we've now made it to level 1-3. Um, they seem nice, yeah they're great. got Dave Coulier in your head. Yeah, well imagine having it in your head every day since like 1989. Then you know how you end up like me. It's a, it's a problem. Level one, three. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Level one, three. That's what it is. And I won't hear otherwise, okay? I'll call it what I want to call it. You know, at some point somebody made up the numbers. So I'm gonna change it. We're changing it here today. You know? At some point, some guy was like, let's make all these numbers and we're gonna call it number 13. Like that, there was a point when that didn't exist. We were cavemen and there weren't numbers, right? Well, I say that we can make whatever we want it to be. And I say it's one, three. See, here we can have whatever rules we want. When you're here, you have whatever rules you want. Nothing needs to apply. Sanity, sanity need not apply here. What is this numbers stuff? Get it out of here, I don't like it. Where, can I go down here? Like, where the fuck do I go? Um, uh -oh. Do 
Dude, do I have to like, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. I thought they like want me to shoot this in a way that it fucking goes along the entire thing, you know? Um, what the fuck? Maybe if I had this on? Like, can this shoot through stuff? Or there's an opening somewhere that I'm not seeing? Like, blow this up? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Have you heard of Garfield? No, what's that? Tell me what it is. I thought maybe I could, oh, so, wait. So I can get some, some like, if I do like this through every one, can it be like, It'll shoot a button or something that'll open, like... What the fuck? I don't have any idea what to do. Alright. Hmm. Anybody have an idea? Pasta, they said. Thanks for the help. That helps a lot. Pasta. That's what they said to me. I see these comments. I, so I put these videos on YouTube later as VODs. And then I get comments sometimes that say, Why was nobody... Mike... Is, they, people leave comments and they say, Mike has like 700 people or whatever watch him or 500 or whatever. And then he's like stuck in a part of the game and then nobody says anything. Why? And I'm wondering the same thing. And then I look at the chat and I'm like, somebody's going to help me out. We have 520 people. Somebody's going to at least spitball an idea, even if they don't know. And then I look over at the chat and they go, pasta. Thanks. It's good. Did you know? Did they make a Heathcliff game? I don't fucking care. You better start caring. No. <laughs> Don't you like Heathcliff? I do like Heathcliff, but I'm talking about trying to get through this level that I'm stuck on right now. Heathcliff's fine, but it's it fucking irrelevant at the moment. You're making it difficult for the chat to jerk off. I'm sorry. How can I how can I change that around? Okay, so all right, the, the Heathcliff is how. All right, uh, here, I know you. All right, I can I can make it easier for you to jerk off. I know that you guys like favorite questions, so let's do. What is your favorite flavor? What is your favorite flavor? Maybe that'll help. Vanilla, lime, barbecue. Barbecue flavor. So Ty Days says, flavor of what, penis? So do you see above you how, let's go through this. So before you, we had 
Uh, Sammy said flavor of dildo. Mentally numb said cum cum in my tum tum. Big Papa said cock. And then there's like a bunch of other ones. So do you see that already like 20 other people made the, that comment before you? Do are we good? Mario has a tiny cock. I, I'm aware. We've talked about this before. He does. This is true. Kenzo Stone, thanks for the sub. Tell me your th Kenzo Stone subbed and said, "Tell me your thoughts on Chili Willy." I like Chili Willy's voice. And I like when he, uh, he, like, wants to always eat. He wants to eat, like, pancakes. And I like that that's his, like, his goal is that he's, like, a glutton. And he always just wants to eat. I like Chili Willy. I like those cartoons. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the Chili Willy universe. Is there, have the Chili Willy cartoons been remastered and specifically put on like a blu-ray that's just like a chili willy blu-ray because i know sometimes they'll have like a woody woodpecker blu-ray or something like that and then they'll like include a couple like cartoons from other characters and stuff but as chili willy just gotten his own set i would buy the chili willy blu-ray if they do that when are they going to do that i think i have a dvd somewhere with like all the cartoons but they're not like great quality Denji Red Zero, thank you very much for the sub. It has not. That's too bad. They should make that. I have to restart the stage, and when I shoot the bombs, run it. Oh, like it's a speed thing? Okay. So is it just like I run to the right? Okay, thank you. Who was that? That was, so I finally got a, some advice for the game. That was from Silent Wet Fart. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna run to the right. Okay, that's the prop. You had to do it. I had to do it quick. No, no wonder I was stuck. Oh, is the whole stage like that? Okay, at least I understand what's happening now, though. This is gonna be hard. All right, at least I get it now, though. Finally gets help 10 minutes later. Yeah. It seems that they really just wanna talk about that Mario has a small dick. Is that what you our guys came here for? They're like, they're like, eh, this game's fine, Mike, but like, we, we came here to talk about that Mario's a small dick. <laughs> that's the end, somebody said that's the end screen of this, of this game. The end screen of, uh, believe it or not, the end screen of Bangayo is, it's just a picture of Mario's uh, fucking five inch penis. Believe it or not. Where, wait, uh, now I'm stuck again. Wait. Can I, oh, what? I got stuck in here. Seriously? Wait, what? 
man, this I don't, this stage sucks. <laughs> I wish, oh, they should have a retry on that too. Here, let's try this again. <sighs> Racing, the, oh, it fucking says it. Boy, okay, well, there you go. Wait a second, no wonder. That goes away so quick. Or am I hitting the button? Is that just my impatience? Hang on a sec, I have a lot of things to say here. I'm not gonna hit anything. No, it goes away pretty quick. Okay, so it's on screen for like a second and I'm like reading the chat and shit. Okay, so it tells you, but it's like on screen for like two seconds. All right. Racing the fuse. I didn't. I still didn't even fucking read it. I was like reading the chat again. Whatever. It says something about race the fuse. Still didn't fucking say it. Oh, there. There it is. There it is. Okay. Fuck. Come on. Okay, it's blowing up here. Dude, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna die. Fuck, this is hard. I have to know the exact path, which I don't. I'm gonna put on, shit, I'm gonna put the laser on, I think. Hurry or you get stuck. Okay, it says it, there. Now I finally fucking saw it. Okay. This is crazy. tells you. Move! Um, um, oh boy, oh boy. Do I go down here? Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like, what about this thing? Does that mean I'm not quick enough? Or did I go the wrong way? God damn it. Oh, I had to blow that. Oh, 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 I also have to blow that up. Okay, I have to be hitting everything too. All right, I know what, I know how to do this. All right, I understand it now. You also gotta be hitting those. That's the problem, okay. All right. Gotcha. So like this shit. I have to make sure that I hit all this. And I'm not hitting it. Great. I'm, I, I, might, I might be too slow now to... Fucking hell. All right. What? <laughs> I wonder... I wonder if it's just, I don't know, I'm gonna try to explain this. So, like, that one. You see that, like that right there? I wonder if it's those. So, and then, and then this one here, okay, I hit it. And then this one here, and I hit it. I wonder if it's, it has to be those ones here. And then I'm gonna go through like this. Okay. Damn it. Okay. I, I mean, I'm, I'm making it further here. Oh God, get me through. Come on. There, it opened and then Wait. Did I, am I stuck? Wait, what? Shit, I don't even know now. All right, hang on. Like maybe this is all right? Like I actually don't even know. I might be stuck.
Did it just loop back? Need to hit the one on the bottom. Wait, what one on the bottom? Shit. Oh, okay, then that did close. Wait, but the other part is open now. I wonder if, hang on a second. So what did I miss here? Okay, so I, I think I am stuck, but I don't know, like if I did this again, I don't know what I'm supposed, what was I supposed to do beyond what I just did? You missed, wait, you missed the lower bombs? There's another large fuse on the bottom of the screen that needs to be set off. Okay, let me see if I can find where that is so I know where to look. Okay, another fuse. Oh, now I can't get back through here. Is it? Is it to the right of this? Near the bottom right? No, the doors are locked. No, I know the doors are locked, but I'm saying, let's say that I could go through there. Is the thing to the right? Yes, okay. So I had to hit it before then. Oh, there's a bomb thing there, and then that would blow up if I would have hit that. Then you follow this along, okay. And then this would like drop or something, and I'd be able to get through this, basically, and maybe the boss is over there. Okay, I, all right, all right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now I think I understand. Sorry, this one I was just like, this is a lot different than all the other stages. Did I miss it already? Is it? Wait, wait, wait. I need to go look. Dude, it's this. All right. That's where it is. All right, all right. I know what to do. I'm going to redo it. That's where it is. I had to find it. Here we go. Now I think I can do it. I didn't know where to go. Now I know. You have to, like, kind of memorize the stage. This is interesting. Honestly, I'd be curious to play this on Nintendo 64. I'm kind of glad in the way, though, that I'm playing this on Dreamcast. And so I, I, like, know, you know, the differences. I like to do that with games, which you guys, I think, know pretty well. Because if, do you guys remember when I played, like, Doom? I was doing all the different Doom versions and all that. I don't know. I, I like to do that. Fuck. I don't know. I'm not going to make it, am I? And then, so I wasn't quick enough, right? But then what would have even happened? Because if I would have got there, like I could have got through somehow, right? I think I just had to do it quicker. I don't like that there's like these fucking speed ones. You go through that space before the wall fall. Okay, so like, there, so there'll be an opening. Because like when you start this, what does it look like? Okay, I see. It's where those bombs are, and then you get a split second. Okay, all right, now I get it, all right. They give you like a split second to get through it. Man, that's, this is hard. This is definitely the hardest stage so far. Now it's just getting real with this.
Oh, you fuck! <laughs> okay, jeez. Oh my god, Retro Junkie 83 sub. Thank you very much for that. I gifted out subs to Sonar Man, Nutsack, uh, Lord Fly, Pet Terry, and uh, I have no idea how to say the other name. So anyway, a bunch of gift subs from Retro Junkie 83. Thank you, Retro Junkie 83. Appreciate it. You were stuck? I know, I was stuck. That's what you're gonna say? You were stuck? I'm aware. Wait. Like, I, I'm, I'm aware I was stuck. <laughs> hey Mike, you got stuck. Yeah? I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you know, I didn't realize that, actually. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, is that what happened? Huh, wow. You got stuck. Fuck. Come on. You have to be so fast on this. No! I can't even move. So there's a lot of memorization involved and speed. Oh, Ultraman's getting stronger here, or whatever. Also, like, is that supposed? What is? Why is it like Ultraman? Isn't that Ultraman or kind of Ultraman? Is that a building on his head? Why is Ultraman in the game? I have no idea. This game's weird as shit. They're like, yeah, hey, let's throw. They should put it like Heathcliff in there, too. Uh, uh, by the way, this is stage 1 4. Here we go. It took 13 levels until you noticed Ultraman. Motherfucker, dude, I was playing this yesterday on stream and I was talking about fucking Ultraman in the fucking game, alright? I did a fucking variety stream of the Dreamcast games, and I was looking for Dreamcast games that I wanted to fucking play, and I played, like, the first, like, five levels, and we were talking about fucking Ultraman. I saw the fucking Ultraman. That said, you're not wrong. A lot of times I ignore things and miss things, so it totally could have happened, but I want to let you know, in this one instance, I fucking saw Ultraman, okay? So I want to hear that. But I totally could miss things all the time. For example, yesterday, you know, see how they're spelling really wrong? I was like reading the chat and somebody's talking about how Mario has a small penis or something. And I'm like reading that and then and then that, and then they all start saying really, really, really and I'm like, why is everybody saying really? And then I look and then I look over at the screen, and I'm like, oh, that's why they're all saying really. Because they misspell it in the game. And that, there's an example of me missing things. But I didn't miss Ultraman, so I don't want to fucking hear your shit about me missing Ultraman. I fucking saw Ultraman. Saw it. Really? I did, really. Really? Really. I really, I, I really hope that this isn't another... Uh... Jeez. Oh my god, oh my god, that was, oh my god, wow. Holy crap, sorry, I got distracted. When that happens, that's the best part of this game. When you can get that to go off like that at the right time, and they, so like, you have to have a million, player, maybe, maybe like that, that was pretty good. That was at that, 240. Is that 110? Shit. Uh, 
I need help, like really bad. They are pretty light on health in this game, aren't they? It's like nothing. Sometimes it's like in the wall and shit. Oh, I'm out. Oh. Oh, no, I have four of them. What the hell? Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna die. Just start over. What's my f favorite Brandon Fraser movie? Um, I don't know if I've seen any. I, th I saw um, The Mummy in the theater like when it came out. I think that's that's probably it. I don't know what other movies is yet. I don't know. I guess that one. That's probably the only one I've ever seen. What's my favorite Pink Panther movie? Uh, Return of the Pink Panther. I think is the one. I, the one where they have the slow motion fight in the bedroom, that one. I think that's Return. That's like, that's my favorite like part in those movies. Is like the slow motion fight scene thing. Um, so that one, whichever one that is. Uh, you know what one I kind of like? I like what the one where he's doing uh, the fucking like Wiley e. Coyote shit. There's one where there's a fucking castle and he's trying to break into a castle and there's a drawbridge and the and he's got like a fucking thing. He's like trying to get up the draw. He's trying to get the drawbridge down. And it's totally like a cartoon. I like that one. I don't know which Pink Panther movie that is, but I like that. I like that scene. I don't know if I like that movie overall. It's like, all right, but I kind of like that one. Um, so those ones, it's more, you know what, with those, it's more that I like particular scenes than the whole movies. Because a lot of times, like, I feel like with those, there's a lot of those movies I kind of find boring, to be honest with you, but um, there are scenes that are really good. So, yeah, it's more like particular scenes and moments that I like. They probably each one of the movies has like a scene that's like good, you know, except for probably that last one. The last, you know, that one is like not great, but at least from what I remember. He's only in the beginning of that one. Um, yeah. Honestly, tell you the truth, I think the one that I, I don't, this is going to sound weird, but the one I think I don't like in that case, usually I like the first of movies the best, you know? Um, like Rocky, like I think the first Rocky is like the best and whatever, so, so on and so forth. But with, damn, I'm like doing really bad. But with those, I think I like the sequels more than I like the first Pink Panther movie. Favorite cum flavor, Mike. Um, so, all, like all of all of the cum. I don't. I don't. Um, I think there's, it's all great. <laughs> there was. Ne let me tell you. There was never. There was never a load that <laughs> that I said no to. <laughs> It's all equally as great. The first Star Trek was definitely not the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another example. Um, I don't, like, hate that movie, but yeah. So, I, like... I do like the scene where he, he, uh, Spock goes into V'ger. Like, that, that's a cool scene. And there, there's some good scenes in it, but yeah... It's definitely, it's weird. They were trying to make like 2001 Space Odyssey and Star Trek is not 2001 Space Odyssey. Um, I don't, it's like weird, I, I don't like hate that movie or anything, but it's definitely weird. It doesn't have like the vibes of the original show or anything where 
they, they started to get it more correct later. It's too bad they didn't do more movies. This is like, I wish they did like two more movies than, they, than there is. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's a lot already, but whatever. Just that fucking fifth one is like... Uh, You know it's not great when even I don't like it. There's a couple scenes that are fine. Man, I'm like barely getting health or anything. Jeez. Fuck. Alright, this is getting hard now. What is your opinion of Pauly Shore? I don't care. We were doing like that video once of, um, what was it, uh, oh god, it, it was one of his, Surf Ninjas, right, is he in that? I don't even know, I think it was like Surf Ninjas, I'm just like, I don't fucking care, you know, cause I wanna like play like this, I don't play like Bangayo, or like Dreamcast or something, I don't fucking care, so I'm just like, you know what, I'm good, I, you can do this, you know, like, I just don't. I mean, there's movies that, like, I, I like to talk about, you know? I like to talk about Star Trek. I, like, there's certain things. Maybe, like, Back to the Future or something. But, like, I don't fucking care to discuss, like, Surf Ninjas. I don't, you know? Like, I don't, who cares? <laughs> you know? That's how I feel about it. So I'm like, how do I care about, the, what do I care about Pauly Shore? I don't, I don't care. I just, I'm not interested. You know? It's like I'd rather be on stream playing an NES game or something. Like, I don't fucking give a shit. That's how I feel. How do I feel about the Pauly Shore movies? Uh, I'd like to play um, Shatterhand is how I feel about it. That's, that's my opinion. What is my favorite cartoon music intro? Um, wait, cartoon music intro? Do you just mean like intro to like a cartoon, or do you do you mean specifically the music and not like just the intro in general, like the the music for it? Yes, he says. Uh. For a cartoon, the, like not think that's an interesting. Question. I don't think anybody's ever asked me quite that. So the song, the song, not the the, the animation for it. Um, Denver the Last Dinosaur. <laughs> no, I don't know. DuckTales? Um, I don't know. Not necessarily. Um, um, I mean, honestly, like, part of me, like, wants to answer Inspector Gadget. Like, I, li I like how the intro is just, like, musical. Like, there's no words. You know? It's just... Dun -dun 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 like, I think that's a really good um, intro. Um, but really... Uh, well, I guess there is words. The, the words are Inspector Gadget, so technically they're... <laughs> There are words, I guess. Da, 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 Inspector Gadget. But um, there's technically words. Yeah, I know. Um, David the Gnome. Uh, David the Gnome, I like. See, so um, I keep, like, meshing together, like, like uh, sitcoms in my head, so I'm trying to, like, not think about that and only cartoons. So, like, it's, like, Transformers. Probably not. Um... 
Thundercats. With, without the animation, probably not Thundercats, because I think a lot of that is like how cool the animation is. You know, you got like Chitara like running and stuff. Like just the song itself, probably not Thundercats. Um, probably not He-Man. Um, Ninja Turtles is a good theme. But I don't, man, I don't know. That's a very good question. What am I not thinking? Oh, you know what fucking song I think is, I love that uh, Heathcliff. Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one should terrify his neighborhood. The gang will disagree and always can deny. I, I, I. I, I, I always really like that. That song is like better than anything of the actual show. Like, you know, God damn it, this is hard now. Growing pains. We're not, we're talking about cartoons. God damn it. Oh, Silverhawks. Silverhawks is a really good one. Who do you think has the biggest cock? Danny, Joey, or Uncle Jesse? Um. <laughs> Mr. Woodchuck. Probably Mr. Woodchuck. Small, somebody said small wonders. Oh, mask. Mask Crusaders. That's a good one. Working overtime. Or whatever. That's definitely a good one. Um, this is just like, watch me get my ass kicked here. God damn it. focus on this fucking game here because shit got real with this it's like I kind of got to slow down with it a little bit because I got to like build up my scatter bombs Working overtime. God damn it. Alright. Four now. I'm working on the fifth. Okay. Whoa. Please have some help. That'd be nice. They really don't give much help in this game. Little little bits here and there. Oh, there's some. All right. it won't fucking use the scatter bomb. Do it! Fuck! It's like delayed or something. God damn it. Ugh. It's getting difficult now. This is a hard game. You're gonna have to download this one, this game. You, this, Yeah, it's good. Have I ever played God Hand? I streamed it. And there's, I have a song for it. <laughs> I, should, I don't have it handy at the moment, but. Dude, I have a God Hand music video. <laughs> have I played God Hand? Yes. 
See, that tells me that you didn't watch my um, edited compilations. That's what that tells me. You got some catching up to do with my streams. That's what that means. How dare you not watch every single second of all my streams? What the fuck? I probably streamed like 18,000 hours, and I expect you to watch every single second. And then when you're done doing that, start over again from the beginning. The hell? I mean, really. No, but yes, I have played it, and it's, um, God Hand's awesome, I love God Hand's, probably one of my favorite PS2 games that I played, I haven't finished it, but, um, I fucking love it, it's like super fun, I love the mechanics, and everything, I, uh, I love that game. At some, someday I'll come back and I'll do the whole thing, probably play like half of it. I'm that way with games. Even when I like a game, sometimes I just, I don't finish it. This is what happens sometimes. Come on. These things are like so ridiculous to kill. start or something? Is it? What is this not? Oh, it is the boss. Oh my god. Okay. Fuck. Dude, I hit the button. Come on. It, I think it takes a while for the, the fucking scatter bomb to come out sometimes. I totally hit it right there. The fuck? Also, I didn't realize the boss was in that area, okay? I thought it was like further in. So I don't have to go as far as I think. All right, I'll, I'll do this. It's like every stage I'm having to like really learn each stage. There. It, yeah, see? I wish, like, my fucking missiles would kill these things quicker. These, these, uh, generator, these, like, enemy generators, whatever, like, they're really difficult to fucking kill them. Get that in a minute. Okay. Come on, get this thing. Ah. 
I mean, I have full health right now. It's doing a little better. I have two scatters right now. It's not good. Come on. I have four of them. Is that the boss? Nope. Kill this fucking thing. Alright, here we go. I want to get rid of those generators. Come on. There. Alright, those are gone. what makes this boss come out. Man. Okay, here's some health. Wasn't there some health like all the way back? Wait, I'm gonna go back. I wanna beat this this time. thought there was one that I didn't get, right? Oh, wait, where is it? Did, maybe I did get it. Oh, it was in there. Damn it, I did get it. Fuck. Scatters, okay. Hey. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. I mean, the fact that they keep spawning actually does help so I can get my scatter bombs up. Okay, I don't really... So, so I guess he comes out of the middle, huh? I got four of these. It, he's gonna come, oh, it, that's him. All right, There's, that's where he comes from. I didn't know where he came from. I'm waiting for him to do this big attack. That. There you go, that's what you want. See, look at that. There you go. Look at all that energy. Boom. Yeah, it really does take a second for all that to fire off. There you go, oh, 450 or something? That's the most I think I've seen. There you go, that's how you do it. I didn't know where the damn boss was. This is a very fun game, I gotta say. And I know that the, the uh, N64 version might be like better. I don't know, I haven't messed with it myself yet, but I mean, this is totally playable. Um, it, takes some, it takes a while to get some of the controls down with these buttons. Pro probably not the best layout in the world for a Dreamcast controller. I mean, like you could also probably get a different like, I wonder how this game would be with maybe with, like, an arcade stick or something. I don't know if that would be good or bad. Also, probably depends how comfortable you are with arcade sticks. Anyway, um, I am going to take a quick break, and then I will come back, and we will do another stage. I'll be right back.
All right, guys, I am back. Today I'm playing uh, Bangayo. Let's see what the chat's talking about. They're saying, when I would play Bangayo as a kid, my uncle would grab me and yell, time to play Bang Guy. Oh. All I remember is him going, oh, oh, oh. That's interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Shut your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. You're a boner biting bastard, Uncle Fucker. What does Mike think of Quack Shot? Uh, I think that I need to stream that one of these days. For sure. All right, uh, so anyway, I am playing uh, Bangayo. This is for Dreamcast. It's also on Nintendo 64. Uh, I'm enjoying the game so far. There's a lot of levels. I'm probably not gonna go through all the levels, but, uh, or at least not today. But oops, wait a second. Let's get to level one five. Here we go. Mike turns darkness into sunshine. Oh yeah, uh, uh, are those tanukis? Whoa, 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 whoa. What in the fuck is happening? Mike, what is your favorite cereal as a kid? And Mike, have you ever fingered yourself? If I had a dollar for every time I was asked both those questions. <laughs> Thank you for the fantastic questions once, once again. What's up, mentally numb? All right, let's try this again. Have you ever fingered your butthole? I like how it's like the boss just starts immediately on this, huh? Holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god. a different boss. Earlier I was asking for different bosses and that was a different boss so it, it gave me something that I wanted. I kind of like that that was just sort of like a boss arena too. That's a fun stage. Okay, I like that one. Next. Have you ever butthold your finger? That's what I usually do. I prefer that. Because like, originally I was doing it the other way around. You know the old uh, the old finger in the butthole. But then I re then I realized if you butthole your finger, that's 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 where it's at, guys. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Now you're now you're thinking. And let me tell you, your finger will appreciate it. Enlightening conversation once again, chat. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna do that. Boom. All right. Go around, I guess. I hope it's not another one of these ones where you get stuck. I didn't really like that stage. The, the, you know, you're getting stuck and, and after like racing there. I don't know. It was it wasn't like horrible, but I don't want any more of those type of stages. <laughs> one is enough. Watch, there's gonna be like a hundred more of those types, probably. 
is Mike talking? Is Mike talking about fingering his butts live? Yes. Have you ever eaten your own ass? Of course. What do you think I was doing on my break? What do we, What do you think I always do on my break? That's what. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's what they meant, I think, in that song. That's what it was about. Now I know. Oh no. Boom. There we go. I finally learned what the lyrics to that song mean. Do the hokey pokey. Pokey? Yeah. What do you think that means? We're learning a lot today. Do the hokey pokey? Mmm. Yeah, I bet. Do the, do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Let me tell you. The purpose in life. See, they, they told us right from the beginning. <laughs> the chat says mind blown. That's not the only thing. Fuck, come on. I fucking hit it. Sixty nine four twenty is your new name, but you didn't change it. Your name is Pia Lilla or something. You said that that's your new name, but it's not your new name. You didn't change it. So what are you talking about? It's your new name. It's not your new name. It's just a thing that you typed into the chat. Is all it is. He said it was his new name. It's not his new name. If you change it, then it will be your new name, but you didn't change it. So what are you talking about? The hell are you talking about? <laughs> the hell are you talking about? Da 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 da. Needle dick? Are you talking about Mario again? That's all the chat wants to talk about. You know what, though? 
Mario might have a small penis, but he's still. Look at how famous and popular he became. He's still. He's still loved. I mean, maybe not that much by Peach. You know, she's hanging a lot. She's hanging out with that Bowser a lot. That happens quite a bit. You ever notice how she's always with Bowser and not really with Mario? She's always with Bowser in that castle. That's not a mistake. Oh, that better blow up. Okay, there, I got through. Poor Mario. <laughs> Poor Mario. Who in the chat has seen Rad, the BMX bike movie with Lori Loughlin? Um, I've seen it. I saw it in the 80s. What about it, though? That's it? It's who's seen it? Me. I've seen it. Remember the 80s when BMX bikes were like... It was all about the BMX bikes. The good old days. Those were the days. And we knew who we were then. Girls were girls and men were men. Those were the days. Oh. Sounds like Elmo. Always sounds like Elmo. It's always Elmo. Always Elmo. A always B B. E Elmo. Always be Elmo. Always be Elmo. Where do I go? Oh, there. That's where I go. Fuck shit. Fuck shit shit. Fuck shit shit shit. Fuck fuck fuck. There we go. Mike, I only remember Bionicle toys. You're the person who was talking about changing your name to Fuckface420. That's your response to me? Is that the only thing you remember is Bionicle toys? Alright, well, that makes sense then why you didn't... Why you said that you changed your name to Fuckface420 without actually doing it. Because you're just spouting off any kind of nonsense. <laughs> so what, what I've learned here is that you're crazy. <laughs> That's all right. This is the place for you. I am too. I, I, I jump all over the place with my subjects as well. So, um, <laughs> so th that it all makes sense now. Okay. He's, okay, I'm getting a response to that. He says, no, it's true, I had Bionicle toys. I didn't disagree that you had the Bionicle toys. I, I, that's not exactly where I was going with that conversation. He's like, oh no, I got Bionicle toys. <laughs> okay.
Remember Bionicle? Bionicle? Like, also, when is that even from? You know what I had? Constructs. Constructs. You had marbles? Okay, marbles are fine. Gobots. Yes, I, I did. I had Gobots. That's true. Oh, that was your guess. I say. Rock Lords. Yeah, I had Rock Lords too. <laughs> Rock Lords. That's how you identify a Zoomer, right? If they don't know what a rock lord is. Right? Is that's what you should say. It'd be like, "Oh, what do you think of rock lords?" Say, so, "What the hell are you talking about?" The rock lord test. Yeah, exactly. Give them the old rock lord test. Where the fuck do we go? Ha, uh, oh. Give him the old rock lord test. The old rock lord test. Or Stonedar and Rock On. Are those He Man? That's He Man, right? See, I always get confused, so... He-Man had, like, rock guys, and then Go-Bots had rock guys. One's the Rock Lords. What were the other ones called? They were, like... Anybody remember? There's Rock Lords, and then... Edge Lords. No, that's me at, like, age 15. And probably now, too, to an extent. Um, what's a zoomer? Don't worry about it. You don't need to know what that is here. It, it doesn't. It's stupid. Some bullshit. You don't. Don't worry about it. Stone protectors. Is it? Maybe. Ever go panning for gold? Um, no. That would be great, though. I would love to do that. That's going to be my next stream. I'm going to pan for gold. What would you do the next time I'm... I, next time I go online, I'm fucking panning for gold. the Yukon. <laughs> you would like and subscribe? Me too. I think there should be more panning for gold streams on Twitch. There's definitely not enough of that going on. Ding dong. Did it do like ding dong? It's like a fucking doorbell now. Ding dong! Ding dong! The 
visionaries, I didn't have them. Uh, I know about them. I learned about them later, but like back originally, like th back then, I didn't have them, but I know what they are now, yeah. One day, Mike went into the mountains and never returned. Um, you're talking about the future. <laughs> That's what's going to happen, just so you know, if you want some reality. <laughs> One day, it's just going to be, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go. I just start walking, and then I never come back. <laughs> it's just, just into the mountains, and you'll never see me again. <laughs> That's the future, Def definitely. Panning for gold will be the new Twitch. Yes, I agree. Yeah, what about game Gamecast? Tell me about that, Angel. Maybe there's internet on that mountain. Mm. I feel like you don't get great internet out there. Papa, I'll be like lost, thirsty. <laughs> I want some apple juice. Help! <laughs> I'll be like that. I thought it was a good idea at first, and then I'm like, oh, this is awful. And, uh, where's my apple juice? <laughs> Fuck. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's try it again, okay? Look at this cutscene. Wow. He's taking a picture. What? What is... And there's a... Br his brain is a person driving it, and then there's a meat child. What is happening in that situation? <laughs> this is all fucked up. It's all fucked up. Oh, well, bless my soul. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with Miz, right? Bananas! Oh, bananas! See what I mean though? I kind of, I just, I'm just trying to make it through the stages. For me, this became not about the score. I guess like if I like really wanted to, it'd be like you go through all the levels and then later you could go back through and be like, all right, I want to do this level again. I want to do that level again. See if I can do a better score. So that gives it the replayability. But it's like you don't have to do that. I'm just trying to like make it through the levels. But that's really where the, that replayability lies with this and the fact that you can go back into the levels and do that. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was crazy. Oh my god, oh my god. I hit the, I, what happened? God damn it. I got caught up in those lasers. And then we got this fucking weird ass cutscene. Pink frosting, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, I think she's setting up for hers, Archmage. Hello, welcome to Mike Matei, live gaming legend, master of all things retro. Today, Mike is going to play one of his favorite games. Super Mario Brothers 3 for the NES. Watch as he shows off his skills and speed runs through eight worlds of this classic platformer. Is this like fan fiction or what do they call that? <laughs> like... You're making up like your own like Mike Mateo like live stories. 
now? Sounds AI generated. Oh, are you? No, I think I've seen his name before. Wait, are you a bot? <laughs> Wait, can you ask a bot if they're a bot? I don't think that that works. <laughs> so that's what, everybody in here is gonna be like a bot. And I'm gonna be like, hey, are you a bot? And they're like, no, Mike, I am not a bot. I am real. And I'm like, oh, okay, good. I, I was making sure you were a real person. That's right, Mike. I am real person. Don't worry about it. And I'm gonna like believe them. And I'm gonna be like, okay, uh, so since you are a real person, what, what do you think of this level I'm on? I'm on level uh, one, three. And then the bot's gonna be like, that is not level one, three. That is level 13. And I'm like, no, it's level one, three. And they're like, no, it is level 13, there is no 1, 3, it is level 13, can not compute, can not comply. Uh, and no, I'm telling you, it, you're in my stream, you have to listen to me. And then the thing like self-destructs. It's pretty much the changeling. I am nomad. God damn, this is like something. This level, I need health. This is getting more harder, more harder. This is getting more harder. This is getting so much more harder. I got some health back. That was the whole situation that just happened was totally fucked up. It's all fucked up, uh -huh. I'm very sorry, everybody. I'm very sorry. I don't know what to tell you. It's all, this is all a big problem. I should stop streaming. But we're gonna keep going anyway. The fortunate news is I don't care, so we're all good. Otherwise, if I cared, I would have had to stop doing this a really long time ago. See other people do this shit. Is they're so like professional. They're like, this game, the titular title from 2001, Ben Gaio was made by Treasure Entertainment. Like, or whatever. Like, I, I can't. I can't do it. Can't, can't do it. It's not, not my thing. I do kind of envy that, though. I'll be, I'll be real. I wish, I wish I could do that. There's some people, man. They, they come on. They sound like so professional. They get on this shit, and they're just like, they're just flawless. It's as if they scripted everything, but they just can, they can do it. Just like, they can just do that. That's amazing. I can't fucking do that. I cannot fucking do that. Oh, my, is that is literally Ultraman now. Wow. Wowzers! I can like turn into Inspector Gadget sometimes though. I can do that. Is that close enough to being like super professional? That's all I've got, okay? I like building brown bricks in Minecraft. That's what I can do. That's my special skill. What's your skill set, Mike? Um. I can do this. And I can do this. Uh, I can do it like this a little bit. Uh. <laughs> ha! I can do that. Moblin Slayer, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Oh, I can do this too. All you motherfuckers, don't tell me what I should do. I can do that. The year is 2030. The world is losing 
the war with the Sinitrons. Oh, is that like a robot? Okay. Who have killed off all the people. The only people who could stop them, the retro gamers. Okay, so us. Okay, so robots. So you're saying in 2030, robots are going to come and they're going to kill off all of us retro gamers. Okay, and then what happens? There is only one hope. The man who left civilization in 2025 to live in the mountains, Mike Matei. Uh, mm, I would not help, though. I'm just going to stay in the mountains. See, the, the people are going to come to me and they're like, Mike, you're the only one. We need somebody who can play, like, retro games. We need somebody who... The only way to defeat these aliens is that we need somebody who was able to beat Castlevania No Death. You're the last one left. And I'm going to say, but I'm panning for gold over here. And they're like, well, but listen, wait. Civilization. Civilization will be destroyed. Panning for gold. Did you not hear me? Mike, if civilization is destroyed, you panning for gold won't matter. Um, you know what won't matter? If I don't have a giant pile of gold over here. I gotta, listen to me. I have to have the big pile of gold. And you know how I'm gonna get it? I'm gonna go pan for gold. And they're going to go, Mike, the world will be destroyed. There won't be any gold. And I'll bet there's going to be plenty of gold because I'm going to be panning for it. And it's going to go back and forth like this. <laughs> you're, our, you're our only hope. And the pile, will the pile of gold be placed in a swimming pool? It'll be just, yes, it'll be just like Miyamoto's swimming pool. It'll just be all gold dust, and he's just like swimming through it. And he's laying there, like on his diamond pool float. And then, and then I say, Mr. Miyamoto, sir, um, we need a new Zelda game. It's been eight years. And he's like, who the fuck are you? Get off my property. And they're like, oh, we work for you, sir. And he's like, what are you talking about? The, you know, The Legend of Zelda and Mario? We need, like, a new Mario game. He's like, do you see all the gold? you see all the fucking gold? What the fuck are you talking to me about? You know, remember the plumber with the mustache? Oh, right. I don't know. Just do that shit again. Do another one of them. Fine, go. Get, get off my property. If you come on my property again, there's hounds everywhere. And next time you want to ask me that question, just... Just make another one of the same fucking thing. Leave me the fuck alone. Do you see all the fucking gold? <laughs> Have I done Ancestry? An or whatever it's called? That, I, I, yeah. So, I like... Uh, I'm, I've told you this before. I'm like it's Swedish, German, Romanian, pretty much. What else do you want to know? Yes. Look at this shit. So wait. Oh, I should... What am I doing? I should do this. Oh, that didn't work. Well. <laughs> Alright, how about this? Boy, it's taking a long time to chew through all this. Hmm. What is the V there? Hey guys, tell me about the V. Oh shit, look at this. Oh! Oh! Oh, now we have awesome... Now, now is the awesome uh, thing th to do now. Is it me go game? Dude, this is great. I love this. I love this part. I need more V. Give me more V. Hey, 
Hang on, I'm gonna get more V. Got more V, got more V, got more V. Oh, I'm fucking destroying it all. Look at me fucking wrecking it. All right, I got some more V. And I'm fucking, I'm tearing it up. I'm tearing it up. Just fucking destroying that shit. Look at this. Fucking wrecking that shit. All right, hang on, wait, 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 wait. All right, there we go, all right, more V. And then, oh, what about in this middle thing? Is this it now? Uh, hang on. Uh-oh. Dude, I gotta get to this. Go, my god, go, go, go. All right, destroy this fucking thing. Okay, energy, more energy. I don't know. Okay. Here, I can blow up some of this shit. Maybe I can do that, like, I don't know. Oh, is this the boss? Yep, there he is. Got him out. Oh my god. Fucked him up. Dude, dude! Oh my god, I almost had it. Come on. Alright, so he's at the bottom. <sighs> More bait. Oh. You gotta make everything dirty. God, guys. Why you got it? Why is it gotta be like that? You know, I try to keep things clean here, as you know. I don't like any of that dirty talk. We won't have any of that here, okay? Filthy, filthy minds and filthy mouths. How, how dare you, how dare you say something like that about the V? I'm an idiot. Just so you know. Oh wait, they knew. I think they're pretty well aware. So I gotta get to this next. V down here. Damn. Get it. All right, here we go. Also, wasn't there health down here? Yeah, give me all that. Go, 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 go. There he, there he is. All right, here we go. Fuck. Come on, do the big attack. Is he gonna do it? He doesn't want to do it. Oh, there it is. Dude, dude. Oh, it's like, all right, I gotta destroy more area there to have more room to maneuver. That's right, it's very family friendly here. Get fucked. Oh, you, oh my god, is this like a bot? <laughs> now I'm actually wondering. He fires a barrage of missiles and lasers. Take that and that. Some of this. The Shadow Dancer explodes in sp spectacular fashion. Is it Vic Viper? Yes, I did it. I saved the galaxy. Are you... Are you So, is he a bot? <laughs> Look, seriously. Cunt master 5000 in my penis hole?
Wait, I'm trying to ask uh, to see if this guy's a bot or not. Forget it. I give up. M real Mike. Yeah, but what if that? What if you're a bot trying to tell me you're real? The bot's like, mm, I am real. I, I am true. I am the one and only. It is I. It is me. the green balls. That's what I'm doing. That's my job today. Here we go. Trying to get some of this shit out of the way. Take a maneuver. Uh, there you go. If I can do that shit again. I was like, oh, I got it. All right. <laughs> All of a sudden, I get it. Do, 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 do. Bowser, it's pretty cool. They have uh, action figures out now. Uh, I saw uh, of um, some of the, uh, like from the Mario movie, the new Mario movie coming out. So that's a, that's a thing now. Toys for that, I guess. No surprise, I guess. I didn't really even think about that. When they were talking about like, the, you know, this new Mario movie, I really didn't think about the merch that they're gonna have for it. But that, that has now started. Because it's kind of like there's there's already, like, Mario toys and shit. So it's kind of like, but then they have to have, like, the movie versions of the toys now, I guess. Wow. badly right now. Some more. Thank God. Do, 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 do. So, I, yeah, I definitely like, like this game, for sure. I mean, I've been playing it for a few hours now. I, st I still really like it. It's super fun. This is, this is definitely a game to, to play. I, it's a definitely a recommend for me. I don't know, I enjoy it. Maybe not everybody would, but I think it's pretty good. I think it's unique, I think it's fun. It's fun to play. This might not be the best version of it, but whatever, it's fun. Good. Damn. 
Blow it up. Come on. It is so fucking hard to kill these generators. Shit. Oh my god. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god. The ball balls are getting fucking bigger. Fucking the second ball is getting bigger too. Let me switch to this. No, switch to the other one. There it is, okay. Oh, it's not shooting through there? What? Um, how about that? Damn it! What the fuck? What do I do? Maybe that, maybe because now. Okay, I could go around, maybe? God damn it. Fucking hope. Damn it. Nope. Um. This is so fucked. Here we go. Kill this thing. Uh oh. Oh, come on! Wow, this is a fucking stage and a half. Okay. Wow. This is definitely getting tough. Also, like, it seems like the time limits are also getting, like, longer, too. Fuck! Stop! I'm gonna go back. <laughs> you fuck. Get away from me. Go back and get the other one. Oh wait, where I thought I could get the other one. Oh god damn it. Guess not.
fuck on? This definitely got like you go into a fucking state of zen with this game. That's what you want. That's what I want with games. I like just want everything to disappear and then you're only playing. Like, like, that's my favorite thing with games. When you get totally consumed by the game and then you just forget everything else. That's what I'm looking for with games. You like pretty much. I don't want to remember fucking anything else going on. Nothing. Game, love the music. It's it's a fun game. Yeah, media. Yeah, it's there. There's like a music thing. Um, I forget what it was. There, yeah, so. It's just like, I was just testing the games out anyway on that. But here you go, like now I finally found something that I actually like want to play, so it's like doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, no, that's good. I mean, it's just like, I want, like I keep saying, I like, I wanted to find a Dreamcast game that like I could like play a good amount of. What if I don't blow that up and just like, what if I go around like? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I haven't done that yet. Like, that's what they want you to do, right? Like, so that's better. First time I'm coming at it from this angle. So I, like maybe this is the better way to go. We'll see. Oh, 101 Dalmatians. You know, no, it was 102 Dalmatians. Excuse me. One, excuse me, 101 Dalmatians. Jeez, you don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> it was 102 Dalmatians uh, puppy pals or something like that. Uh-oh. Don't. Soft lock. I assume. Let's try it again. Damn, maybe I shouldn't go that way. Come on. I will do this. I will break you. Level 20. You are mine. You are mine. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Level 20, level 20, gonna do it, gonna do it. It's 
So maybe I'll go part of the way this way and destroy some of the stuff, but then go back, like... Would I still be able to get back if I do this? I'm gonna try this again here, right? Maybe you can't. Here, I'll just get them both. <sighs> Man. Um, so I just gotta not get stuck. So this goes, uh, I'm on 20, and I think it goes to 44, so holy shit. I should definitely try to beat this. I'm not going to be able to do this all right now. It takes too, too long, but maybe I'll keep going with it. I really like it. Who knew? Damn it. Wow. Kill this fucking thing. Fly up. What the hell's going on? 
going on? Kill the fucking platform. God damn it. Is that full health? Wow. Oh, it was like a yellow one. Thank God. Right here. Yes. Okay, I might beat this. Thirty seconds, huh? Um. Come on. Fuck. You like the time? <laughs> oh my god, and that is your record, finally. Holy shit, that was hard. Bum, 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 bum. All right, that's enough for me for now. Um, thank you very much for watching. That is Bangayo. For Dreamcast, maybe I'll play the N64 version someday. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Is there a picture of your cock on the Dreamcast memory card? Are you talking about, like, the VMU? Um, you know what? I don't think it would fit in that. I am so sorry. But, I tell you what, though. There is a picture of Mario's cock on the MU and it is um, actually is for this game if, so that's the that's a reward you get if you beat Bangayo for the uh, Dreamcast on the VMU you will get a picture of Mario's cock and it's just one pixel and that's what you get for beating the game so one day we're gonna have to beat the game and see that actually I should show you this um, check this out there you go there he is 
And that is the Sega Dreamcast. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's the stream. See you next time. Bye.